Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We talk animated shows and movies here, especially Miraculous Ladybug and The Owl House. Find everything about us at OverlyAnimated.com. I'm your host, Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Michelle Ander. Hello. And Allie Martin. Hello. We are back to talk more of The Owl House Season 2, uh, talking the last four episodes as of this recording. Uh, Any Sport in a Storm, Reaching Out, Them's the Breaks, Kid, and Hollow Mind, the big Hollow Mind that just aired this weekend. Um, episodes 13 to 16 of Season 2 of The Owl House. Check out our previous Owl House coverage at OverlyAnimated.com. Uh, if you have are not caught up through Hollow Mind, there are big spoilers for this episode, and we'll be getting into spoilers right away. So spoiler warning for everything through Hollow Mind of Season 2 of The Owl House. Definitely make sure to check those out uh, and then come back and listen. Uh, I think we are going to get right into it. There's a lot to get into here. Um, so let me, let, let's, let's, I'll pose three questions. You can answer them in Ooh. any combination that you want Uh-oh. in this intro. <laughs> Allie, don't be scared. It's going to be fine. They're all, they're all here. Uh, what, what did you think of the episodes? The normal question. Okay. Uh, what were your reactions to the big things in Hollow Mind? If you had any big reactions to talk about. And then what's your favorite episode of this bunch? Michelle. Lord. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. So in order of questions asked. <laughs> Oh, um, I, I love these four episodes. I mean, like, I feel like I can't remember the, I mean, I don't think Owl House as a show has ever had like a mediocre episode, mm-hmm. but I feel like season two, since it started, has just been like ramping up so aggressively, it just also in terms of like bucket list stuff for me, like there's so much plot. There's so much backstory. There's so much like relationship stuff. Like it's all there and it keeps being there constantly. So I'm just a very happy camper at this point. Um, how am I? <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, I feel I feel really bad um, because like I stand Amphibia so hard, but I've like been thinking about Hollow Mind all weekend. <laughs> Still thinking about it. It's just such you a. You were thinking about Hollow Mine at the Amphibia at the panel. panel. I think that's that cheating. Was, that was a pretty good distraction. But then after <laughs> I left, I was like, "Dang it! I'm thinking about Hunter and how sad he is again. And did he go visit Willow? I hope so. <laughs> Maybe she can solve his panic attack problem. I mean, Hollow Mine's like Hollow Mine's just so. It's like one of those culmination episodes, right? Like they've been planting these these little seeds for us for a while. We've been speculating, and then it's just like a huge payoff to be like, okay, we, every like the things we thought were the things, and that's nice. And also, oh no, there's more information now. What do we do with that? So, Hollow Mind, fantastic episode. All four of these are fantastic, though, for different reasons. Uh, was there a. How What's many your fa- which is your favorite? That was the oh, last favorite. question. Oh no. That's the worst one. You can oh. pass if you want to. Uh, I mean, okay. No, don't be Switzerland. Honestly, I think maybe any sport in a storm is my uh. favorite. Yeah, I think <laughs> That's a hot that take. Hollow Mind's a, a okay. very strong episode, but like, I love Willow. I've been waiting for another yes. Willow episode for so long. And this was this one did her so well. She has so much going on now. Like, she's so much more confident and like Hunter's there. And she's going to help Hunter learn how to be a normal 16-year-old boy. And it's just like so many things are happening and I'm so excited. So for that reason, yeah, that one would be my favorite. Okay, additional fourth question since you said any sport in a storm. On a scale one to ten, how much are you shipping Hunt Low? <laughs> okay, so here's like the cut. Co- like, I didn't think of this as a ship till maybe like three weeks ago or whenever. Yeah, <laughs> like, until the episode right, came out. Yeah, yeah, right before the episode when people started doing fan art, I was like, oh, it that's It was like a nice week ago, though. Then you kept being like, you ship it. You know you do. And well, I was it's like, like, but, but it's like, yeah, once you see the episode, I feel like it's literally impossible not to ship it because yeah. then there's like, it, it feels like more tangible like it could actually like they're they they're they're on what it's it called the pe, pe, what is it called pen, pentagram yeah pentagram like it's not pentagram but it's it's close yeah i mean like you know you they know up in each other's dms yeah God. so yes 100 percent. i'll say i would say like a a, a firm 9.5 on the ship scale wow. I love already that. yeah I love that's that. lower than i expected from you honestly I mean, it's out of 10. I mean, you got to save room for, like, Lumity 10 out of 10. If they hang out one more time, they'll get that extra 0.5 from me, but they got to earn it. Lumity, to be fair, is, like, 12 out of 10, though, honestly. Yeah, seriously. (laughs) Or, like, 14 out of 10 at this point after we (laughs) out. Okay, we're breaking the scale. That's okay. Allie, all of these questions, (laughs) the same to you. Go. 
Okay. Um, in order, right? So, <laughs> no, <that's>... like, <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna any try. way I'm you gonna, want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a mesh, like a, a collaboration. Yes. No, not a collaboration. A, a remix. It's the remix. Okay. Um, I really like Michelle was saying before that this show. I also think has not had a dull episode, at least not in a while, if at all. Um, season two again, like we were talking about before, has just like every episode, like is better than the next in my opinion like i mean they're all great for their own reasons but in terms of like building up the story and the lore this past month i guess well it's been a month since these episodes came out has been just better and better and it's fantastic um i really enjoyed um any sport in a storm for willow also like michelle said because she needs more screen time and gus being there was pretty cool too mm-hmm. and i really like that it focused on hunter because obviously we need more of him and then obviously leading up to hollow mind that was uh, everything and kind of too much i've also i mean i didn't go to the panel but i've been thinking about it all this weekend while everyone was talking about amphibia and i love amphibia too but this it was a lot hollow mind was a it lot it was it was so much and also amphibia like the the amphibia yeah, don't, don't worry the heavy stuff's this, coming in amphibia. yeah like the, it's coming this week but like they had the like most chill episodes so like it, it wasn't really a competition That's yeah just, kind of yeah. it's it's tough when they it's air tough. right after one another but this show also i mean i i think it didn't really start off like you know like a typical Disney show for kids. Like it, it is pretty dark. It just keeps getting darker, mm-hmm. which I love. And I think we need to see more in TV because darkness is real. Um, not just mm-hmm. TV, but like in kids animation, whatever. Um, I, I'm pretty sure my, the, my favorite episode out of these four has to be Hollow Mind just because of everything that was revealed and the focus on Hunter because we've been wanting more back, backstory on him for so long. And me especially, personally, I love him. I didn't like him when like nothing was revealed about him, but... The more <laughs> that is shown, the more I like, just want to give him a hug and put him into therapy. I will say, before Hollow Mind, my favorite probably would have been reaching out. Not just because of Lumity, but because of like you know the trauma that happens in it. <laughs> One and the same in that episode. Pretty much, yeah. Lots of trauma. Helping, Thank you, Dana, for the help. trauma. I'm, I'm low out of ten. Uh, I want to say eight. I would give it higher, but I want to say it's them. respectable. It's only been that's one episode. For, right? Maybe <laughs> okay. That's the thing. It's only one episode, and I'm already like, <laughs> we were like, like I saw a lot of fan art of them before watching um, any sport in a storm too, and I was like, I'll be honest, I was not feeling it because they had never interacted before. And then going into this episode, when we were seeing all the promos, I was like, okay, they'll at least interact, and I'll probably be on the ship after that. So after seeing that and just how. They just mesh so well. The uh, the dynamic and the like comebacks to one another is just pretty good. Maybe I'll say it's seven point five, but in my heart it's an eight. When he said Captain at the end, like that's when I right. knew there is no return for me. Captain and Caleb. Oh, so good. Uh sending the the the, the flapjack picture. Come on. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is pretty and the typos. Oh, but now he's so like good. sliding into her DMs with all of his dramatic backstory, so this is gonna oh, be yeah, trauma. that's that's next. We'll we'll speculate on where Hunter goes next Fingers after crossed. this. Fingers yeah. crossed. Hun- Hunlo's great. Yeah, eight out of ten, that's that's sort that's about right. Um I li- I like all four episodes, they're all good. Um they're uh, they're all they're all like very good. I don't think these are like any of them are I mean Hollow Mind's tough, really tough to evaluate, but I don't know if any of them mm-hmm. are like instant classics that but I I even like them better. I like the some of the parts is even better, I think, than the individual episodes i'm like really impressed with a lot of the lore build up this, this yeah. show is doing yeah. i have some really really good things to say about that uh coming up but um the yeah i i, I think my favorite would be reaching out i guess uh because yeah. i love the lose and dad stuff i love the casual lumity moments i love them at the end of the episode i don't really care about the brawl and everything so um not like my top top episode ever i, th- I guess hot take i think follies at the come day parade still my favorite of s2b i love that episode Ooh, it's um, a good one but uh, also love Hollow Minds. Um, and yeah, and eSports really fun. Them the Breaks is also really fun. That episode worked even better for me second time. So I think yeah, expectations I gone. I think it's a lot more. Yeah, lot there's fun. lots of love for that episode. Just we needed more Eda backstory too. And then we got Rain as a kid. Uh, yeah, and I love the buildup we're doing with Rain and the the rebellion. I have questions that I want to talk about uh, with, yes. with, with 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 what this means, but uh, the getting the more information every single episode here was really fun. It's um, so satisfying. We like just the, get fed. These four is a tandem too. Specifically, you get like yeah. Darius is actually nice, so well. and then. Uh, 
Uh, then Constant we, rain in some way. You eventually see the little dairies. Oh. It's like, oh, they're working together. And then uh, you, <laughs> you mean the, the little abomination? Kind of, yeah, the little abomination. And then they're they're Yeah. And then finally confirmed in Hollow Mine. But uh, definitely, you know, b- biggest reaction Hollow Mine was, of course, they said it. Uh, Grimwalker, they said it. it. We did it, Joe. It's uh, what's the the (laughs) gif of Leonardo DiCaprio pointing at the the TV? Is that it? Is that him? Um, I think so. Yeah, it's 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 Grimwalker. It's what we've been talking about. (laughs) You're right. How does it feel to be right? So good. Yes. So there's good. a lot, a lot we were right about in this episode. I will say, um, we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, but we've been we've been talking about almost everything here, and there's a lot of a lot of fun stuff to uh, speculate more about. Some stuff not exactly how we thought it would go, but mm. you know, it's also only we're still kind of on the path. Only episode 16 here. There could be more to come. I'll say that. You know, we're not locked into any anything that was revealed here. There could be more coming. So let's talk about the big stuff uh, from from Hollow Minds, from the, all the episodes. Um, cause I mean, it's mostly from Hollow Mind, but we'll be pulling, pulling from, from other episodes as well. Uh, we get confirmed, uh, in a big moment to lose at least that Bellos is Philip. Uh, he, yeah. play, he plays her the clip from Elsewhere and Elsewhere. <laughs> Where'd he get that her, clip? He broke he out the clip. He gave her a mashup. I guess it makes sense because it's a memory. <laughs> That's how you actually uh, complain. But the like clip. the other, oh yeah, it's his memory. Yeah. Did I was going to say in one of them, she wasn't like... there. Yeah, like he had memories of like conversations that that Lilith had, and Bruce ex- had yeah on. exclusively together. Yeah, he was just listening and sense. being creepy. That's the <laughs> yeah. That is Luz his told, demo. Luz told him about it later, and he remembered them to. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, the the we get that that, that confirmation that, like, that time loop, not loop, but like the. I don't know the the there's this thing where you like you go back in time and you alter the timeline and then she taught him glyphs. That's crazy. Yeah, it, That's should, crazy. it, should, it, should, it should be a paradox. Yeah, uh, paradox. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't you, know space things, space and time things. Yeah, we. But I mean, the show, I guess, does not care. But I mean, they're trying to avoid it in in the in that episode. So, but it's interesting. Bellows. I mean, it's not a paradox, I guess, because like. He had met her before, and he was just toying with her before yeah, she uh, depends figured on out your, that she Depends met on her. your perspective on the rules. Yeah, whatever. But, uh, it's just he, he knew that Luz was Lazura, um, so mm-hmm. that brings up the question, when did he know when he saw Luz in the present, but whatever. It also uh, brings up the question, is he actually the author of the Azura books? Still, is it's still out there. Still on the table. It is we still got on the, the table. Com- we got the author of the. Uh, well, we don't <laughs> no, know we the didn't. human author. We don't know the human. Yeah, author. but he is human, so maybe. Yeah. I would assume the Azura books don't go back to like the 1600s. That would be my you guess. Would assume, but it's not implausible. Oh man. Um. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> We, we uh, okay. So Bellos is felt. Any any reactions to how that was revealed in the episode? It's just very creepy with like the little kid. We were. I was going back and forth thinking that it was his brother in the mask, and I was mm. like, "Which is it?" And it was. I thought it was done very well. I'm still kind of. I have to watch it again because it was a lot. Yeah, the I get... fake out with the big palisman mm. monster actually being kind of the the more sympathetic of the two. Mm-hmm. I I did like that did get me. I was kind of on board with like okay, like if if we're really gonna try to like have any nice thoughts about Bello seeing him as a tiny baby toddler boy I guess like that that would do it but no he was just being sneaky and as soon as the sky is like as soon as they figured it out he's just like yeah here I am hello I was I was doing (laughs) my sneaky stuff again I still suck that's like honestly kind of great though so I appreciate Mm -hmm. I appreciate the surprise switcheroo Mm -hmm. yeah that, that was fun and then the lose learning about about Bellos, definitely like not. I was not as interested in this as the Grimwalker stuff. It's like, yeah, we know Bellos fill up, um, but it's interesting to see Luz learn this at least. Yeah, it was. She took it really hard, and like Bellos is weirdly like he was pressing her so hard to say his name, and he was like, ah, oh, it's been so long since another human has said my name. I'm just like, bro, like Gross. what does this? What you need to calm down, sir. <laughs> It also makes me think, though, like, maybe the reason he hasn't killed Luce, like, other than, like, he needs her for, like, the past stuff with his younger self is that she's not a witch and he's not as racist towards her. <laughs> yeah. so maybe he legit will not kill her because she is human, which is interesting. Right, he's also ma- think he can't even use her for the Day of Unity because she doesn't have, like, a bio sack or a palisman yet that he can, like, absorb the magic from. She just told him she was going to tell everyone about his lies, and he doesn't seem that worried about it. 
it, but also, I mean, she's she's out there now. She's not stuck in his mind anymore. Is, I mean, I don't know. Mm. I'm just like, is he going to kill her now that she's a liability? He or... hasn't even, like, ever gone for Ida. That's been the part that's kind of confused me for a while. Like, why doesn't he just end both of them? Because he knows where they are. I get it. It's plot armor. I get it. Scared, like... He's scared of Hootie. That's it. He just won't admit it. He doesn't go to <laughs> it's, It definitely to seems like this has been a topic is like, why not go after Ito? Why not go after Luz? Uh, and it seems like he just didn't care before this point. Like, yeah. it mm-hmm. just it seems like it really just didn't matter to him that Ida's out there just chilling. And Ida wasn't, <laughs> Ida specifically did, doesn't do things in this episode. Um, like, she's not taking proactive action or anything. And Luz, like, what can Luz do? But the question is, after this, now will Luz be a threat? Because he did try yeah. to stop Luz from leaving. And it wasn't like he offered her the door out. It's like Hunter saved uh, saved her, and then they left through uh, the, the Ida's spell from the outside. So... Now maybe he'll come for Luz after this. That's I possible. Would, I, I hope so. <laughs> you I, hope I, so. I mean, I mean, she cracked his mask the first season. I would love an, another showdown. I just think it's like the most obnoxious thing about Bellus is how little he takes. Like, ev- like he doesn't take anyone else seriously. Everyone is like miles beneath him in his mind. Mm. So I just like want to see, you know, that change and for him to like actually consider somebody a threat. Yeah. I do. I do think he maybe sees yeah. Luz as like a comrade. Like it's his 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 only <laughs> know, his only peer, so really. Right? Yeah, the only other human. Yeah. So I wish I, she had asked him about his ear surgery, or whatever he that's, did. I was there. That's one of my right? hot takes. I want to see his real ears. How did he do <laughs> it? Surgery looks so bad. He shouldn't have tried it, man. I don't see, understand. we need to see the ears. Did he <laughs> show me your ears? Only. <laughs> Give us the real ears. I, like I get, like I get, a plastic surgeon. Like, yeah, we'll find what's out what's going on there. You know, he is like a he's distorted a uh, glyph, bo- distorted body. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, it could be just like an illusion, magic thing. Magic, or like his, his whole body's different. Or I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, that, that that's interesting. Also, this was like the inner Bellows. This was not literally Bellows, but he remembers. But it was that a representation of how he would, he would act on the outside. I was also a little caught up in mm-hmm. stuff like that when watching the episode. I'm like not 100 percent clear on the mechanics. So like inside, he's still a vengeful little child. It's, sometimes, it's, but sometimes he's like all versions of himself. It was clearly he, like yeah that he turned into his current version. Yeah, it was a ploy. but that still doesn't right. It doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly him. But he yeah. they clearly think he will remember. At the very least. I don't know. I mean, know. he's pretty messed up by magic, too, though. I really wonder if that means anything. Yeah, that maybe, yeah, maybe he's, he, that actually is him. He can see inside his mind somehow from his, his anyway. Okay, so that, that's interesting. Let's let's talk about Grimwalkers, though. Let's bring this up. This Yay! Is the, so God, if, I give us the clones. The, give us the clones. They gave it to us. They did. They give us all the clones. Yeah. I, I counted the wars. masks um, in that creepy room with all the ripped up. Um, yeah, how so, many were there? Uh, so many? there were 16 masks on you the ground. It? That means that that Hunter's is like the 17th one Bellows made, which like, my At God. At least that we've seen, uh, because he's been alive for like how many years? Yeah, 16 years. And that's the thing. It seems like they grow at the normal rate of a person. So are they just like, I mean, they're he probably made them when to be like, I guess his brothers yeah, okay let's okay we'll talk about okay okay we're getting ahead of ourselves let's talk about the, how it's revealed here uh they say he says they say grimwalker says it. yes grimwalker. i think Ma- matthew reese saying grimwalker is definitely a highlight of the show for me. Like, <laughs> when like, luz says what's a grimwalker I'm what's like, a grimwalker on, yeah can't we, <laughs> we've, we've been new you luz, saw come all on. the masks you couldn't put two and two together he says, Luz is very smart, but you, she's says, under a lot of pressure. Out of all the you Grim see that book about Grimwalkers in that room, you didn't actually ever yeah, go in there. because she you was weren't in that scene. <laughs> didn't yeah. you see that, Luz? Be- Bella says, out of all the Grimwalkers, you look the most like him to Hunter. Yeah. And then later, just with Luz, Luz says, what's a Grimwalker? Um, which is a necessary question Hunter for the is audience. also like, wait, what? And then he uh, almost died. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think he knows either. Yeah, so Lu, I don't think Hunter hears this part, right? This is just no. He does. Luz. Well, he doesn't hear Luz asking, but he he goes out of all the Grimwalkers you look like. Yeah, so he hears that, but then true. then Bello says he's a better version of an old friend. But yeah, we don't know if he heard that actually. New, another one. He wasn't there for that. Yet. Yeah, he was sucked away in the sand at that point, right, or so, he could have been hiding because after that he helped Luz escape with the glyphs. So so he if you're just it. listening to this one podcast, a Grimwalker seems to be a clone. We don't really know, but uh, he's a better version of an old friend. You know that that's. 
pretty heavily hinting at it being a clone yeah. of his brother, um, which we talked about on the last podcast. We were like, okay, confirmed Gr- uh, Hunter's a Grimwalker of the brother. Um, so we knew that four episodes ago, you know, but mm-hmm. it's not like the show had ever said Grimwalker. It's not like this had ever been in the, the text of the show. Um, I This is one of those episodes where I'm very much wondering what it's like to be a casual because uh, this, I think it's a completely <laughs> different... Are you ex- even an Owl House casual, though? Is that even possible? I don't... I mean, I think the thing is, like, the the they hold on that book and it's in the foreground for the the, the start of that no, episode. No, I, th- I think people don't know. I think people... Really? Don't yeah. They really don't notice the book? Okay, I I guess if, if you're blazing through it... Here's, here's the... Okay, you're well, if you're online, anything, I, I guess, think you know maybe. about the book. Because if, if you're, you're online, Twitter, yeah. So I, I just think there's, like, such a difference between watching week to week and looking up online and listening to a podcast yeah, and versus not... just binging the show. Because I've yeah. I, recently I just watched Severance after the season ended, um, which is, is really great, by the way. But I, I binged it and then I got to the last episode and there's like a big reveal right away in the last episode. And I had no idea it was coming. And I like was really <laughs> hype after the last episode. So I turned on a podcast and they were like, Oh, the reveal! It happens. We've been speculating about this since <laughs> episode two. I'm like, what? No, like, I had no idea. Episode. I think at least in this show, even if you're not like chronically online, like a lot of us are, in that episode where the book appears, that's the first shot of the episode, if I'm remembering correctly. So it's very that's much my, a focus. That's my point. But I yes. guess if like you, you're just if you're if you're going through these on a rapid pace, I could see not really giving I, it. I, much I, I would, yeah, I would suspect Benjamin would so. not like freeze frame that. And no, they probably wouldn't. Um. But so that yeah so I mean that that's why they have to explain it to and to lose of course too um, you mm-hmm. know and it's not like we knew exactly what it is and we still don't really know a hundred percent and the big thing I think versus our speculation here is that uh, it doesn't seem to be that Bellos is trying to bring back his brother not his he's, actual brother he's no. trying to make a repla- a genetic mm-hmm. replacement yes. of so we we were speculating for the most part that he would literally be trying to bring back his brother. But it seems like he is just trying to make a new version who will not go against him. Which is like really interesting because that's much that's a much more sentimental reason on Bellos's part than I ever would have wanted to give him credit for because I had assumed either <laughs> Yeah, last last would, podcast yeah, to set this was, up. Yeah. We, we either he was like gonna be he like he needed like the genetic DNA to get mm. back home or something. Right. But yeah. there was a rule about it, or he just needed to sacrifice for some reason, and it had to be <laughs> linked to his brother. But I never would have imagined he simply like wanted the company of like a sort of brother who would just listen to him for once and mm-hmm. go along with his crazy plan. And like, I do think it has to be like a combination of being sentimental and being like kind of kind of dumb at this <laughs> point. Because like, again, if After you sixteen killed, times at least, if you, you killed you your original message. brother. And then you got rid of the 16 ones after him and they all turn against you. I mean, like, maybe it's just not going to work, man. Like, maybe the problem is you. I don't think Bells is ever going to see the problem as him. And that's that's mm. his own thing. But, like, the idea that he's like, oh, I'm going to have to make another one casually to lose. It's like, bro, these take, like, 16 years to become 16-year-olds. You're going to wait 16 years? The Day of Unity is in, like, a month. Why? Yeah. Why are you making another one? It must just be because he wants his fake brother there and that's crazy to me that he, he still cares that much honestly yeah, it's, I did it's not so interesting he'll, he'll make even another one after yeah. hunter yeah when it, when his plan's about to happen one. an 18th hunter i cannot at least yeah yeah so so we were speculating at, at last podcast that maybe he needed his brother back right. for some uh, key piece yeah. of information about the portal door which <laughs> i was i was really liking that theory um but we've no indication of that. Um, mm-hmm. It's and sentimental is a good word for it because last podcast I was talking about this as a potential sympathetic motivation for Bellows. He just wants his brother back, and they went a little twisted route. Well, it's uh, like yeah, it's not it's, like it's, like it's not really. Clear. That. It's with the, like there there are it's a more evil version regulations of about wanting his right. brother back, and the biggest is that he has to listen. To him he has to listen and to be him okay for, yeah. with everything he does kind of a very it's kind of a, a big a, a, it's a big thing. cravat yeah um, but it, yeah so it, it is like a sentimental reason that being said i'm not sure we still have the full picture here just uh, i would also agree with that yeah like i don't know i'm not buying that something seems missing because bellows the thing is bellows says uh, they big the plans brothers, they just right? never listen to him 
Um, I, I just don't understand why the why they no one would. It seems like Hunter was going to listen to him. It seemed like that was going great, except he just happened to stumble into his mind. Like I don't think that happened the previous like eighteen times. You know, no. Um, and also I don't think like willingness to uh, see eye to eye with someone is like a genetic trait. Um, no, no, no. I think it's simply that like with time, Bellos has learned to keep the most important, like the most controversial information about like what he plans to do from. Hunter. Yeah, so right. So the, the question is, do they discover him. it? Do they discover yes. it every time? I think I'm wondering now it every time that Darius is like kind of it. in play, being like against Belos. If he was ever an influence on the past um, Golden Guards, yeah. So in in, in any sport in the storm, entire... we learn we learn that the past Golden Guard was Darius's mentor. He says he that close like the him, most yeah. previous before Hunter, like the, yes, the, the one right the, before. Yeah, the most the, one. The so that's a potential reason why Darius is against Bellos because Bellos like killed, but seemed to brutally murder all the past uh, Golden. Guards. And then in this episode, when you first got into his mindscape, Hunter was like, "Why does Darius look so sad in this picture?" Yeah. And we didn't get to see it. Yes, Maybe it was yeah, like we didn't get to see it. Yeah, it had I, to do. Ali, what's your what's your thoughts on this this notion that Bellos is trying to recreate a better like, for in, in, in from his perspective version of his brother? To me, it definitely makes more sense than um, anything. I mean, I didn't really consider, I <laughs> couldn't figure out why he was trying to make a bunch of clones, other than to just do his bidding. Honestly, like I mean, I didn't. I I think we're also still missing a lot here because if I'm curious why or how they retaliated against him because in this case also I think Luz is a huge factor like she is like spilling all the tea and revealing all the secrets with Hunter or trying to get him to see the light so I'm wondering if there were like other witches in the past with the other ones but I don't I'm, I, I still can't figure out like what is the main point of him doing it I guess other than to indoctrinate someone to yeah, be do, his, do like, you, do you yeah, buy that it's like just sentimental reasons or do you think there's more to it I feel like there has to be more to it because he has a bunch of lackeys that don't share his DNA that he doesn't have to like make mm-hmm. in a lab because he just, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm not going um, yeah, to, I don't know. He just brainwashes everybody. You don't need to clone somebody to do that if you have really good propaganda, which he apparently he does because people like poor sweet old Steve are in his army. Steve. We we can bring in the backstory Poor here because I think it relates to what we're talking about. So the, this next topic, and we can continue talking about the the reasons for the Grimwalker. Um, the other the other kind of big thing in this episode is that we get uh, one of many big things, and this is another thing people I don't I think bingers would just not see any of this. So this mm-hmm. is like a, this is like another thing. That oh, I'm, this I'm, absolutely. Not. I'm wondering that casual like how casuals react. So if you have not looked online at all about this, uh, if you're like me and you just turned on a podcast for a show, um, <laughs> there are portraits throughout this episode in Bellos's mindscape and his memories that reveal the uh, at least the outline of a backstory for Philip Bellos and his brother. Um, and we get a lot of things confirmed that we did not previously know we'd only speculated about. People have compiled all the images together. Uh, I think Dane on Twitter referred to this as like a story within a story. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, first of all, really cool. Um, this is like so really, cool. really well done. It's, like, re- it's really, really fun to like go pause and try to, to see the production all team and all the artists who did this. Like, this is crazy. That's so much detail to put in 22 minutes. Yeah, agree. Um, and it's, it's some of the most exciting stuff of the episode. Uh, and we're just learning it from like the, it's one of those things where it's like, you watch it and it's like, whoa, they said Grimwalkers. There's the, the collector. Oh, this is all so cool. And then you go on and see people's reaction. Like, oh, there's actually all these, these portraits. Maybe you catch mm-hmm. one and you're like, oh, well, let's see the find the others. And there's a whole nother layer of, of cool stuff that you can then get into after watching it. The very, very fun experience, I think, with this episode. Very. Um, here's the my. The treasure hunt. The treasure hunt. Sorry, yeah. I mean, <laughs> for, for, hunt for the pictures, backstory. yeah, yeah. For the backstory treasure hunt. So le- let me give you my highlights of the. There's a lot of of uh, portraits in in there. Um, there's some I seem more more big than others. We we get to see their childhood, Philip and the brother. Um, we get to see uh, them a, a picture Churning that, butter. <laughs> turn, yeah, maybe stuff with wood. I don't know, but I, I didn't pull those ones. But um, th- and and so I guess that that's the first thing I was going to say is like I do think sentimentality could be a big reason because it seemed like they were happy yeah. as kids together. Like we get to see them together, um, and how close they were through these pictures. Uh, so I think that is notable. But then we see what could be a demon luring. Philip and brother to the demon realm, which had been uh, something that was in only uh, yesterday's lie as well. Um, and of note, it seems like the brother's most interested in magic and Philip looks worried in it. Um, 
the, the demon's doing some like fire bending or something in the question in the why bending. do you think it's a demon they have a very like humanoid looking hand why not just a witch like a, a casual oh yeah witch, witch, witch yeah a witch yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Is I, it, I, the big question is is that um, his brother's girlfriend slash lover. Oh, I assume it's not the first person they saw. <laughs> that you, don't have, you don't know. It's it's love. Yeah. It's a, I, I, I mean, I mean, witch here, but yeah, d- at demon realm. But there's witches and demons. I get confused mm-hmm. with that sometimes. Anyway, uh, so it could. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Could be a human for all we know, and it's a glyph or something. We don't really know. Uh, wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, but then we see a uh, most re- most bi- hugely here a uh, por- a picture of Bel- Belos in the foreground looking pissed. I love and this then, picture so much. In the in the background, a shadow of what's definitely the brother because of his trademark like uh, hair thing in the front, and holding hands with uh, potentially a witch. A lady. Everyone is assuming that, or not assuming. Sorry, um, theorizing that it's a clawthorn. I know. We're back to that. We'll get to that in a second. That's not been revealed, but it does. We speculated last podcast. Did the brother have a witch partner? Seems confirmed here. Yeah, see, seems yeah. very confirmed. Clawthorn? Question mark. We'll come back. Uh, so then we have one of, uh, we, we see like Bellows c- turning into his uh, kind of distorted form, presumably from putting the glyphs on him. He's like a shadowy figure. And there's one of the, the brother hugging him despite him mm-hmm. being like a monster. And then right after we see uh, him meeting, Philip, Philip meeting with his brother, his brother looking very happy while Philip is holding a dagger behind his back. He's introducing Philip to his friend. Oh, potentially <laughs> introducing him, yeah. It's, it's a cloaked figure, could be his uh, partner. Well, it's definitely someone from the demon realm. Yeah. Well, everyone, yeah, they're the only two humans there, so anyone <laughs> is. Uh... It could be a human realm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe totally they, not, we, but... as far as yeah, as far as we know, they've been there the whole time. That's a good point. I don't know if they went back. I don't know if they have access it to go back like and forth. There's that's the thing. There's another picture. I'm looking through the Reddit forum. There's like the last shot that we see of them. I think as they're young is of the brother going into the demon realm, and I think it looks like Philip or Bellos is like hiding. And the next picture after that, it looks like Philip goes to the demon realm years later. So maybe they got oh separated. yeah. We don't we don't know if the brother had a head start. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. Um... Yeah, so they, they might have gone separated, but I don't think he would leave his brother. The key, behind. the key here is they seem to be doing the thing that I, I started to speculate on last podcast, where the brother loves the boiling owls, Philip mm-hmm. hates the boiling owls. Yep. That's kind of the exactly. key, here, like a hundred percent. I think that's a great story to tell, so I'm really happy about it. And that, that's by the way, I I got even like more attached to the like which partner thing after last podcast, and that was like yeah. one of the main reasons why is it's like that's such a good like uh, basic story to tell, where like Phil, the brother loves it connects with the the the, the witches and the demon realm so much so that he even has a witch partner like i think that emphasizes that more philip mm-hmm. is like resentful of it turns against him which is okay the next pic- picture that seems what's happened to be what's happening it's a really there's, good allegory man there's like a, a standoff of uh of uh the philip and the brother and they a have literal knife fight knife fight with fire i guess uh fire's <laughs> also there yeah yeah i don't know why um and then we for, see for flair the the brother Dead, presumably on the ground, with the 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 burnt fil- to a crisp, potentially. Uh, yeah, just push him in the fire there, I guess, to <laughs> get rid of the body. Cheating, uh, cheating, Philip. I think he dead. needs the body to make the the clones. So I don't. Oh think yeah, he yeah, never yeah. mind. <laughs> uh, he the da- his Philip's dagger is in the foreground, and you see the reflection of Philip looking. Uh, um, I don't know what what emotion look uh, sinister. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready for my hot take now? This is the hottest. Is it, in, oh, it is in yeah. this picture. Okay, what's it's the in take? this picture? So you know how <laughs> cartoon gays look into swords. Oh Philip no! Is gay. <laughs> oh no! But it... that's the hot take. Uh, but he's mad at his brother okay. for being with a female witch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the second half. Now it makes sense. <laughs> so I guess relating to that, in the next picture, you see. What might be the brother's witch partner chasing off mm-hmm. Philip in the foreground, and that's the most clear shot I think we have of the witch partner. They yeah. do seem to have a feminine, uh, like a hairstyle at least. Um, so I think that would lend credence to, you know, this is the, the thing I can't tell if people are um, 
they want it to be a Clawthorn because of the hair or the outfit, and I, I don't get it. I mean, so we'd been on the Clawthorn theory last podcast, four episodes ago, just because of uh, reasons. Um, but, uh, <laughs> because they... it's fun to do crack theory. It is yeah. fun. Um, and I, I would suspect this is still true because, I, again, recapping the reasons that I put out last podcast, um, you know, F- Philip looked somewhat similar to the fa- either his father. More so than that, I think that was intentional juxtaposition by the show. Like, mm-hmm. I think it, more than that, they look exactly the same. I mean, they are kind of just like uh, older, older men. But I just think it's like, why put those two stories next to each other? You know, like uh, where we meet a, a, a Clawthorn relative. Um, I think that's like intentional. It explains why the portal door might have been outside the Clawthorn house. Um considering they probably had it but we don't we don't really have further indication that the brothers tied to the making of the port of the door or anything or has knowledge of it in this episode still could to, could be coming but we don't really know um and then last the other the other kind of big thematic reason why i was like really liking this was it, it ties like uh, uh lumity to like ida directly oh her ancestors were actually the first uh, like human witch couple and that's like feels kind of powerful um it's that it's like powerful. ida is like the descendant of that um has like two percent human dna or something in her uh and uh, I think Lumity will be, that'll have an impact on them when uh, Luz and Amity learn that. Oh, that would be so cute. So oh, I, no. I, I, I love, I love decision. I do think it's, it's, I do think it was a Clawthorn, but it's not like that's revealed here at all. But the, yeah, the, no. the partner is, is, it's a big thing on its own, you know, like that, that's like, that's like a big reveal um, on its own. Uh, I think I think uh, if, if Philip was gay, like the boiling owls seem very accept- <laughs> they, they seem very accepting. So I don't know. Like yeah, uh, no, it's a, it was a hot take crack theory, but he could be gay. He could be gay and also hate all of magic kind. <laughs> what feels gay <laughs> but also homophobic? That's the meme. That's the, that's the meme. Um, any other pictures from either you guys for, that you wanted to highlight or uh, aspects of this? Uh, I just this one, but Michelle, ha- you go first. I my biggest takeaway from all these portraits is that Uh-oh. is it bigger than my take? No, <laughs> is that Philip killed his brother and then stole his hairstyle, and I can't get over it. Yeah, he it. dyed his hair. He bleached his hair. No, no, not even that. Like when they started, the older brother had the ponytail. Oh, that's true. And then when he found a lady, he cut his hair and he's like, I'm free. I'm a new man. And then Philip started growing his hair out and then he killed him. Coincidence. to steal your identity. <laughs> I just think it's interesting. I don't know why that happened, but like one of them starts with a ponytail and one of them ends with a ponytail. I didn't, I didn't not the same brother. <laughs> I lost something once. My identity. <laughs> the ponytail is funny. Is 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 the brother the older brother? Yeah. Yes. He's way taller. He's taking he's, care of him. He's yeah. showing him how to churn butter. I know. It seems like that in the beginning. I, the, the brother looks more useful later, though, um, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, youthful. I thought you said useful. Oh, oh hot, hot <laughs> take. He's the... happy, and he's not doing weird magic yeah, on the Yeah, I guess, he's not, he's, yeah, I guess that, that ages you, but also makes you immortal if you... <laughs> if but also you... a creepy monster with, like, slime for... Right. Uh, you ut- not utensils anyway continue appendages or something thank you god <laughs> utensils <laughs> podcast late at night uh hot take bro- brother is a hottie uh, yeah oh god yeah that's a hot take that's why he keeps like scarring out his face that's he why can't Bell's handle, to kill. he's <laughs> not the pretty brother that's yeah. why he wears a mask he's like no nah, i'm not I the know. hot one that was my brother that's i killed <laughs> Uh, uh, Ali, you posted was is the one you posted the uh, the past it's the one with all the masks, with the but I only just noticed the picture all the way in the back, where the, it it seems like that's how the Grimwalker is being made, like in the mud, because there's a hand coming up, and it looks oh, like I th- yeah, I think I've seen speculation. An yeah. older one, yeah, Ooh, so that's that's dark. Tra- yeah, that they're, they're, dark. yeah, I heard buried alive. For an older yeah, he buries all of them, and Hunter's the only one that's yeah. gotten himself so, out. So there's a shot with the portraits of the past Grimwalker deaths. There's like one being like magic to death. There's like uh, magic one tur- one petrified. Oh, it's all of them being uh, killed. Ooh, yeah, how can he, you tell? The one on the left most, it seems. Oh, like yeah, this is way more on the right. I thought it was okay. Some of them you magic, can't really but there's tell. There's one of the Golden Guards that's like all the way on the right being surrounded by that red magic. Yeah, yeah, all the way on the right. Oh, yeah, zapped, they, zapped they to death. You all die um, different ways. That's yeah. even worse somehow. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, gr- this is like wow. the most gruesome part of that. How do y'all, do y'all think the one being buried alive was um, Darius's mentor? 
that would, well, that would, that's like kind of the most tragic almost yeah. and he would have uh, been a of. lot older than hunter too like maybe in his 20s or 30s if he was if darius was like you know if he was a mentor yeah, to darius and darius young. is like a, a full-grown man so yeah it's true yeah, and then there's others. You can, I, I think, uh, people have even it figured out so the other bleak. ones too. Um, but it, it's very dark. Uh, this uh, seeing how they all died and all the cracked masks and has great effect as you see Hunter uh, run run off from that. I mean, pretty pretty terrifying. Um, in terms of the backstory related to the Grimwalker, we know that they are closest kids. We know that Philip killed his brother, presumably. So, I mean, that's pretty messed up that he killed him and is now trying to bring him back uh, a bunch of times. Well, I mean, so here's the thing that I think this is why it's important that, like, we know their ages are different. His brother is his older brother, so he probably really looked up to him, right? Like, the little siblings tend to do that. Their older siblings, they're idle for a while. So, like, yeah, he's going to follow him into the magic realm because that's his older brother and his older brother's everything. But as they grow older like he doesn't approve of what his older brother is doing and i feel like that could be like a huge moment of crisis for him right if his brother is like his favorite person and he's still used to following him around yeah i feel like this even ties back to when i was saying last time how like i thought it was interesting that the brother was the one always in the foreground and philip was always in the background i think it's like both because he's older than him Mm. and also he was the one making decisions and and he was the one like leading the way but then when he kills him, I mean, now he's leading his own way. And I think, like, in in his own messed up way, he's, like, maybe his brother is, like, his favorite person he ever had in his life. And he killed him in a way that, like, made sense to him. He's, like, well, he, he just thought about things wrong. If I can make a brother yeah. that I can convince I'm right, everything's fine. And I will do that 25 million times. I don't care. I will keep gathering the Grimwalker ingredients and waiting, like, 17 years. And if they keep disobeying me, I will kill them and do it again. I mean, if that is the most important person in his life, I do think I would understand why he would keep doing this. Because otherwise, it's mm. literally insane to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result this many times. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think this is like a, a twisted form of love. Like, it's hard to understand, oh, yeah. but I think this is like love. Um, yeah, and- I think it is. This is, this is the person he loves very, the most. Very he's clearly stuff. obsessed with him. He keeps trying yeah. to bring him back. Here's a line from then's episode I think is relevant here. Bello says, I'll do anything to save humanity from evil. Um, I think that's relevant because uh, I think he believes this. Like, I think he believes, Bellos believes witches and mm-hmm. magic and the, the demon realm are evil. And so my brother fell into uh, an evil trap and uh, I had to get rid of him before he was uh, gone but now i can recreate him and i will he, i will not let him go down the evil path again right like i think in I, his yes. mind i think it's that but he's taken it further he doesn't actually even believe he kills his brother on a level because remember the moment i didn't kill him he, magic the killed moment him. He, <laughs> he decided hunter was going to have to die was when hunter saw the room of all the other dead hunters and he's like what about our family? It wasn't wild magic, was it? And then, like, Bellos, like, gives this, like, very, like, subtle disapproving frown because he knows in that moment, like, he's not going to play along and be like, oh, wild magic was what killed my brother. Like, Hunter in that moment's, like, uh, confronting Bellos about murdering his brother straight up. And he... (laughs) He's like, dang it, you did the one thing you're not supposed to believe, and now you have to go to. So I think, yeah, he he wants he wants a version of his brother that believes that wild magic is to blame for everything, and that Bellos is not responsible for what happened. Because like that's how it works in his mind. Mm, yeah, kind of absolving himself too. If exactly. He can, if he can fix exactly. it, he's trying to yeah. fix it. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, so I, I guess uh, we'll, we'll see with a lot of this. I wonder if we'll get the full backstory here. This was all from Portraits. I wonder if we'll get a backstory episode laying this out. Yeah. Now, I would have said if there's a full season three, I would have said, like, we're yeah. definitely going to see this. Um, but I also maybe- would have said that if I didn't see Dana's tweet saying that they like to tell stories within the stories. But maybe. I, th- we are 100% going to get more on the brother. And the reason I think there's no way they can't do that is because Bellows has waited so freaking long to, like, announce that he has a brother. He keeps saying, like, a person, an old friend. Like, he won't commit to saying brother, which means it's an obscenely important to him. And if we keep pushing it off, I feel like that has to be leading up to a payoff. 
where we acknowledge that this is his actual flesh and blood brother. We haven't gotten it yet. And I feel like that's for a reason. I, I, I feel like it's definitely still coming. Yeah, and I also think we'll have to have uh, Luz learn that uh, the, there's a brother who had a witch partner before her. Yeah, she's not the she first doesn't know one. any of that. Yeah, like, like so, I think we'll still we still might get a reduced kind of flashback of this in one of the specials. Um, that could be interesting. I mean, I, I'm like, will we actually get like this this kind of sympathetic early version of Bellos? You know. Um, maybe it's just on my mind because Amphibia recently did best this with its dictator. Um, and that was like actually a pretty sympathetic portrayal, I feel like. Honestly, so, very. Yes, that was. I was so I'm like, you know, I, like Andrus was like... as as evil as Bellus before this, but now Bellus is like, seems way more evil, right? It's like, <laughs> I feel yeah. like the big difference is like Andrus had like a lineage telling him exactly what to think. And, mm-hmm. and, and Philip had nobody. He just, as far as we know, yeah, we came didn't, to we this conclusion on his own. And that's like kind of spookier in my opinion. It is, as, as far as what we know now, do. yeah. So but yeah. We, they could add more context, right? Like, we could learn of a traumatic childhood. We don't know, mm-hmm. um, but, uh, right. So, the, like, I, I wonder if that's on the cards or if that will get cut or if they even intended to do that at all. So I don't know. Um, but, I, I, well, we have to see more of, we'll, we'll definitely see, like, some sort of flashback, I feel like. More of the brother, for sure. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Just and then, wish we would have a full three seasons to go right into it. I what know. if the, like Hootie existed back then and he knew <laughs> everything? That's true. How they, how like, we flash drop, back? Like, a, like a bomb on them? Like oh yeah, like what if, this is what who if we he married? Has ancestry? Like there are other Hooties. Oh god, yeah. We've never met another Hootie. That seems crazy. King's gonna meet somebody that's related yeah. to him, probably. Right? That hasn't happened yet. What that's about what Hootie? Isn't that next week? Yeah. Is that the one next that's week? Next okay, week, there you yeah. go. Oh god, we're gonna die. <laughs> So yeah, much trauma. He's like, oh, King gets to see his people, but not me. Oh, daddy. You, don't you know that I come from a long line of bird tubes? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. We'll see. Uh, we, we talked about Hunter. Lear- he, lear- he learns the truth. He runs off after seeing the past Golden Guards. He learns he's Grimlock. He doesn't really have the full information. Uh, Lou says he could stay with them, but he still runs off. It's too much. He's like, an- I think people pointed out he's like in a full blown panic attack. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he just like, it was done to very realistically. Decompress. As well. Yeah. Like throwing off the cape when he spent like those previous episodes obsessed with like getting the, the patch sewn on and like earning it properly. And he just throws it aside. He's so disgusted now that he knows the truth. It's a lot. Very, very sad for a very, a very sympathetic, sad boy. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, he's not bad anymore. He's just all sad. He's, he's just all sad. <laughs> Hopefully, he will choose to not be bad now. Yes. Um, well, he can, but no, he should choose be to be bad because then he can be in the bad girl coven and wear the shirt <gasps> proudly. Yes. Yeah, he just he the right be a bad girl. Bad. Yeah, bad girl. No, no, no more bad boy. Bad girl now. <laughs> What, uh, what, what, so what's, where's Hunter running to? I, uh, so, uh, so option, Willow. option one, Willow, his Realistically, new Realistically, I imagine he's just, like, in the forest He's probably just in the, the woods, sticks. like, sad. In the woods on his own. I, oh, here's Willow. my theory. Uh, Hunter runs off into the woods. Who did we just see in the woods in this episode? Darius. Darius. Oh. Ab- Darius, okay, Everwolf, actually, and Rain. Darius, that would be, that would make a lot of sense, actually. And what if Darius and Rain and Everwolf pull Hunter into the Rebellion now? Yes. Yes. So the rebellion I feel like I could see him going to Willow's house and being like, help me. And she'll be like, do you like know any other adults? And he'll be like, yeah. <laughs> like I know one guy who started being nice to me three days ago. Yeah. I talk to him. W- Willow would say that. Like. Yeah. Well, because also Darius was like, you should be making connections with people your own age. Your own age? So maybe yeah. he'll take his advice. He put him on social media. I swear he to God. He on social media. Does that make him life. a bad That's- uncle? That's how he learned how to do, media. like, the plant glyph. He probably learned it from Willow. And he, how did he get that? Because he was on social media. So. I think he used I want to lose his glyphs because he couldn't have done it without a staff. That's true. But it's a good is, thought. Is Hunter gonna post, it was like, his first uh, spell. It was a plant it, spell. It, There's it. still canon. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he should. He, we should. We should bring Willow. Is Hunter gonna post like that face when you learn traumatic truths about your past <laughs> on uh, his just, Instagram? God, uh, he needs to learn about memes so he can trauma dump. Oh, he's gonna be so annoying once he learns about memes. <laughs> <laughs> like a child it's gonna be uh, amazing okay uh so it'll be it'll be fun just to see with hunter if that i guess he won't even sh- i mean we don't know what the b plot if any of next week's episode is but uh, if, i feel like it has to be hunter right i don't know because i mean not that king's plot isn't like really centric to the story but i feel like hunter might be mia for at least an episode La- or Labyr- two. labyrinth runners when the emperor's coven comes to exide gus teams up with an unlikely ally 
Oh, Hunter, right. Ooh. Hunter, Hunter. Um, I would yeah, like to see more guests. That would be good. Yeah, we have a guest episode coming. We need so more guests. Okay. Um, n- next next big thing. Uh, we still have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> so we learned more about the Day of Unity, which from the episode descriptions will be coming in the season two finale, which is very exciting. Um, it is a draining spell. We learned this at the end of uh, Them's the Breaks Kid. This is, this is a huge... This is a bigger deal than I think I understood the first time. I, at first, I thought <laughs> it was only going to drain the coven heads. No. Everybody. This, this is going to drain everyone that has their magic locked away. Literally everybody. Which so, is so yeah. much more terrifying. Like that, that is a straight up, like, immediate instant genocide. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we, okay, so it's a little unclear. We mostly get the information in uh, this, in Hollow Mind from the Collector. The Collector seems to be acting it out, implying that the draining spell will life out all life on the demon realms. Well, Luz says even, that. It's not just that, though, Dylan, because remember we when they went the through flashback, one of his, the coven Yeah, sigils, and yes. then, like, the, 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 I don't know, the fifth hunter at that point was like, oh, they're still alive. And Bells is like, eh, we got to Yeah, what was your interpre- interpretation yeah, I was confused. He, he, he was testing out his system of draining them, but first locking with, like, so under the guise of being like, oh, you choose a coven, it's nice. It's actually the ultimate purpose is to just drain them of their magic entirely and kill them. Right, but but, it, but but now a lot of perfected. in the present a lot of people have coven sigils and they're not drained because he perfected it. So now it so it hasn't been happens. activated yet. Yes, he he's delaying it because he figured out. How, or on like, the day of unity, it's like yes. the strongest. Yes, right. I think I think that's right. He doesn't want to tap happen right away. He yeah, wants to be able to control when it happens. Once. Yeah, I, I think still that's right. Confuses me okay. because if he's like like they're gonna paint the world in nine hues or whatever, how does that save anything from evil? What does that do? He's a lie. It's not. I mean. I mean, so for some reason, the collector is the one who told him about the nine Q thing, right? And so I think that's how he came up with the coven system. He's like, okay, you need you need nine colors. I got you. We'll do nine covens. We'll lock away everyone's magic, and then they're like ticking time bombs until we need them to be drained. And like, then we'll what are they everything. being drained for? To open the door to then what end is what I, I'm like. I don't even know if it's yeah, to so... open the door. Maybe it's just to exterminate them because he said he was a it witch hunter, like, right? Wait, we have to pull up that picture of what the draining spell does because it seems like yeah, the so door I is involved. I have the picture at the bottom. But uh, this is – so I think we don't have the full information on the Grim Marker. I also don't think we have the full information on Bellos' no. motivations. This to me doesn't make sense. So we Bellos previously had presented he wants to merge the realms. Yeah, um, That was his – and now we're learning that maybe that was a lie, question mark? Wait, and- like it's, wait it's not a lie. It. Wait, 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 wait. I think, okay, so that we can agree the collector's like kind of a creepy person, right? They don't seem like great. No. Nice. I think what happened is he figured out that the collector was like his way to get back home. And he talked to the collector and the collector was like, all right, like there's a way to do that, but you got to do something I want. You got to <laughs> kill everybody. <laughs> You gotta kill everyone, yeah. So you think I, this is for the collector that he wants to drain the, the magic? Collector. This is the deal. If he if he does this incantation, he drains everyone's magic, and he he hears about the hue thing from the collector. The collector gets what they want, and he gets what he wants. He gets to go home, but I don't think the collector will let him go, like help him to that extent, unless he fulfills this part of the bargain. And he will because he already hates witches, so he just decides, like, fine, I will identify as a witch hunter, and so problem solved. <laughs> identify as a witch hunter. Okay, yeah, a, lot, a lot of things going on here. Witches, I can do that, no My problem. My pronouns are witch slash hunter. <laughs> Please. Let's let's talk about the draining spell picture at the end of them's the breaks kid. It says draining spell channels through nine powerful witches drains through sigils. That mm-hmm. line, that makes more sense now after this episode. Yeah. It says spell center points to like the 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 the, the head of the head. Tight, which is where he found the collector mirror at which, the start. And the collector says they're like trapped under the bone. Oh yeah, under right? the bone. Potent- oh, potentially maybe at the head. Release them. Maybe it releases that? them to drain. Maybe like it's an obscenely. Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> here okay, it comes, here it comes. Okay, so the Titan died. All of the magic people got their magic bile sex from proximity to the Titan's corpse. So maybe the deal is like the Titan, like put the Collector trapped in the mirror with their magic, right? Because they're a big boy. They can do that. They're pretty powerful before they died. But now, to unlock the Collector, they need the power of the Titan. So you need to literally harness it from everyone in proximity to have the power of the Titan. So you're saying everyone has the Titan's magic now, so you need to use what was the Titan's magic to free the Collector. Because they soaked it up. 
Yo, you have so, galaxy brain right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That, be like, dang, because that's some deep seeds if that's a... So the the draining spell thing, it says, the last thing is it says the door is being moved to the head, basically, um, under the eclipse. So that's when this has to happen. I think there's a, there's a lot here. So the witch hunter thing, let's go back to that for a second. I forgot to mention that. Bellos, it seems to be a big moment when Bellos says, I'm a witch hunter. Yeah, we didn't, yeah. none of us I don't know what that means. That. I don't it know what means that means. He, that, that he just kills all the witches. He doesn't want, so like he wants to go home. He doesn't want anyone else to go home, except maybe the the perfect hunter clone he's never going to make. But he he wants, like, he's afraid, I think, that witches will go into the human world and, like, quote-unquote, hurt, like, humans because he does not trust magic. At least the ones who so, don't have the sigils because he's been petrifying anybody who, like, practices, quote-unquote, wild magic and yeah. not just one coven. Right. I, guess be, I guess because maybe he thinks all the ones with sigils will die to, to an exactly. effect that he Exactly, yeah. yeah. He, but so so witch, hunter could, witch hunter could just mean, I don't like witches, I'm going to kill them. Yeah, that, I think that's exactly what it means. Yeah, so probably yeah, that's true. I, I was when it first heard it, I was like, were they like? Does this is this implying that Philip and the brother were witch hunters before they came into no. the demon realm? Yeah, I don't because think because in no. like Salem times, like were they witch hunters <laughs> on Earth? That's true. Oh, it wasn't Salem times, wasn't it? That's the other option. Is like th- this could be their backstory. Like it could be a hint of that. <laughs> When, I think when were the witch trials in Salem? What was going on in Connecticut at that time? Right, it's possible just because of the, the we've seen the, whole, the the past around that time. Like there could, I, I think more likely he just means that he doesn't like witches. But I'm like, why did you have to say that so prominently? Like well, I, I, know, I know, I know you don't like ra- them. This is his rationale for being in cahoots with a. A, a deity or whatever it is. It, it like ties into his mentality yeah. that witchcraft it, is evil. Yeah, I'm a so witch like, hunter. He, I have to rid the can world. He okay with magic the messed up his whole body. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. like if his okay. brother got with a witch, it ruined their relationship yeah. in his eyes. Every wrong thing back to witches and magic. So it yeah. makes it easy to be like, well, I'm not a murderer. I'm a witch hunter. That's a professional <laughs> title. I'm not a criminal. So we're, we're going to move the collector hunter. discussion up. But before that, so, yeah, so the, the the purpose of draining the magic could be to free the collector. Michelle said that uh, it's a deal with the collector, free the collector, drain the magic so Bellos can go home. I don't understand why Bellos cannot go home right now. That's a big piecing piece for me because— I don't think he knows how to make the door. He's not He's not that smart. He ha- so we see the flashback. <laughs> the, the, this was I was I was <laughs> waiting for. I mean, so Michelle. Okay, again, it's Michelle speculated last last time that maybe the fill the brother was the smart one. We don't get the indication here, but I still like that theory. They it could get it theory. later. Um, he was older and wiser. He was, see, o- and also I, like we've we've seen Luce in real time as a freaking fourteen year old, yeah, just much like smarter than him past too. him in her glyph like experimentations, and it took him like fifty bajillion years to get where he is. I just True. I don't think he's as natural to this. As I, I, I I would agree, but but yeah. I still think there's I I feel like he could have gone home in the past because we see the the coveted end to Eclipse Lake, which I've been waiting for. Like, does he mm. have the door completed? He has the key. We do, we still don't know. Like he he looks mad that the key's broken so maybe it means he this wasn't what he wanted but that being said i see the, what you're saying the, the, yeah the, here's, here's the kicker the the cut the, the, the sigils thing has been is something he's been doing over the course of many many years yeah and he almost had loses door in season one true, true, so true. it's not like this is a plan he's implemented since the end of season one mm-hmm. so like i feel like the, this the purpose here can't just be i'm going home like this you can't no, I th- you're, okay you're gonna you're kill right. everyone just to go home you're gonna free you're, this deity you're like right. i, I think, think there we're missing something Thing, we're yeah. not missing anything. I think we're we're just like looking at this from two different angles. I think he wants to go home. I still he, think we're missing something. He, but he wants to go home, but he also wants to get rid of all the witches and demons first. Yeah, that's it's true. A we do think he hates step them. Yeah. Plan. How, I still don't understand how <laughs> connecting the realms or whatever going home is going to quote unquote save humanity. Like because if he, he connects the realms, in, like in his tw- in his twisted mind, uh, getting rid of magic is saving people sure, because only, it's evil. He's only getting rid of magic from like witches. Not from demons, because like there, it has been established that's true. That there's also demons, demons that's yeah. That's true. He yeah. really yeah. Magic. Hates and I don't think um, Tina Linoza has a coven sigil, and she can control magic. It's a good, it's a good point. It's a good point. So like, I, what is wrong with him? His I'm, logic I, is like, flawed. I'm buying that he hates. Like he has a mentality, a twisted kind of. Uh, fascist mentality where he hates witches and witchcraft and magic and this is this is a trauma-based uh thing derived from his perceived betrayal of his brother and him killing his brother and this has been twisted up in his mind yeah well yeah exactly exactly honestly it's true Uh, it's kind of been twisted up in his mind and resulted in this 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 messed up mentality still though killing all killing all witches 
uh, it, it still seems extreme, and I think there's some re- it, it specific is, it is. reason. Like, <laughs> because, uh, okay, 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 let me see if I can explain this a different way. So he 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 blames every. I think bad it's a good thing. thought that it's like for the collector, though. I do. Uh, I do yeah, think that's he interesting. blames every bad thing that has happened so far in the Boiling Isles on dark magic and the influence of like magic and witches. So it's. I I really think he just he sees magic and witches as like this this plague, if you will, and like yeah, he just he agree. doesn't want the human world infected with that. Right, but so, then why connect? Well, so he, let's wait. He, let's bring back in the merging of the realms think, because if it, maybe he, he does has. want to, maybe I he does want to merge the realms. I don't and, know. Maybe he just said that. Maybe he just wants to go home. Well, and I, you know, I, the collector I, like, even to... said that there. Read what's the quote? You who strays, you said is something about painting the land and bright and nine bright hues. I don't know if he means like the boiling you know, isles or just the yeah. world. But let, let, let's say, yeah, we don't know. Let, let's That's say he good, was yeah. trying to merge the realms. In that case, magic would transfer over to the human realm. And maybe he wants to merge the realms without magic. Well, yeah, that's so. what I, yeah. so he has to get rid of the witches first. That's that's the first I think, I think, that, I think that's a missing land. piece. What if he want, yeah. he want, he, I don't know why he would want to merge them, but if he does, yeah. get rid of magic, then merge them. Yeah. But there's no way evil. to get rid of magic because even if the witches have it, creatures can have it and right. it still so exists that's a, that's in the boiling isles like in nature. Yeah. Because Luz can tap into the magic, but yeah. I guess if you move it away from the Titan, she wouldn't be able to do that. Um, mm-hmm. This it's like it's very confusing. Maybe just like uh, take everybody from the Boiling Isles to Earth, where there is no magic, and you just can't use magic, and then close the portal. It yeah, but why? Like, yeah, I it know could, why. Why? It could maybe it also because I'm thinking like, why does it have to be like on the head of the Titan? Right? Is that just like where a lot of like the magic juice is? But it's maybe where his brains. Tasty but maybe brains are. also it's like not only are they gonna like kill all the people, maybe they're gonna try to kill like the bones of the Titan because that's, that's the source see, of the magic. Because if being, they got rid of the source of the magic and sense. all the people, mm, then there's and that's no at, one left. There's yeah, nothing kill, left. Yeah, kill kill the magic. Titan. I think that that's I think that's a good idea. Destroy the Titan. But he's already dead. dead. So how do you destroy like you, the entire? You zap the bones out of existence. The magic connected to his bones, just the head. That would make sense. Actually, I actually like this. I think this is the best one, ever Because I also think that the the collector says I'm. I'm, I'm trapped beneath these bones. Exactly. So if you get rid of the yeah, bones, yeah, that power. frees the collector. Mm-hmm. So that then their interests are aligned. Yeah. Bellows. Okay. So here's our Did conclusion we just crack after it? this. Yeah. Here's the yeah. conclusion after this heated discussion. Bellows wants to get rid of the Titan skeleton in order to get rid, get rid of, of the magic. source of magic yes. in the boiling. So he's just yes, gonna yes, bring yes. the skeleton to the human realm and be like, "Here you go." No, I think here's they're gonna present. obliterate it. I think they're gonna like take yeah, all the yeah, magic. Completely zap it. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're draining all or the magic to have enough power to disseminate the skeleton. Yeah, which is which is so interesting because it's possible that he doesn't even care. It, ultimately, he doesn't even care about going home. He just wants to save this land he yes, has come upon. Yes, maybe he's very much a like guy. a, mis- a wait, missionary wait, uh, motivation. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. It okay, make sense. so Bellows, Bellows has been saying like every so often in really cryptic ways, like ah, I just have to hold on a little longer. Yeah, before, yeah, before yeah. My yeah. Like my I'll be the hero. Up. Like I think he's gonna let himself die in this yeah. huge explosion. Yeah, what for if the that's how season good. two ends. He for dies the, at the end. For of the this. greater good of Earth, like he has gone to all this trouble for fifty million bajillion years of like concocting this plan to destroy magic so that earth will never oh, have ooh, to know ooh. the threat that could have befallen it no no, no not even I, like maybe he doesn't even care about earth he just wants to save the land he's went to and that's why he keeps creating versions of his brother he wants a version of his brother to exist on a land that doesn't have magic with just so he him can live or her alone because he's gonna die without with yeah he, he he doesn't care he loves his brother so much he'll die <laughs> he'll leave this new land for his brother without magic so he can't get corrupted and now he can live out his his life so in this long, new land though, i guess that doesn't now, do you think he's yeah. going to die in the season two finale now that we've brought up the possibility so of now, him playing? So <laughs> now, this is true. This is a good point. Yeah. This is, this is a good, so the, previously, in terms of the we're going to have Day of Unity, what's going to happen? What's the setup for season three before when it's like merge the realms? I'm like, okay, what if the re- merge realms are merged? Then we t- when season three takes place in like an Earth slash pulling out, that'd be cool. But but what if, yeah, what if it's like Bellos, if this is our new unified theory, Bellos succeeds, dies, and gets rid of magic. And yes. now season three is about Luz trying to bring magic back. Yes. Oh that my would be god. Very cool if she could find a new source for magic. That would be, That'd so be cool. very, very cool. Oh my god, the, the real magic was the friends we made along the way. Yes. That's, I don't think yeah. I don't think that'll be her conclusion, but that's possible. No. Her thought conclusion someone might was laugh, the real was magic was instant. finding your first girlfriend. I swear that was not true. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a laugh. It's not what I actually think. 
No, that's canon now. You think that? No. Uh, so, okay, so the, I, I look. I'm 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 in now on this new Yay. thing because now we have like a motivation that's like this is big. Yeah, like he's crazy, gonna he's gonna motivation. kill the Titan. That's so he big. Just the whole Titan Get rid of magic, minute. and that that just fits in so well with his mindset that <laughs> yeah, he seems to be espousing. So he's so petty. He would do this for five hundred years if he could be like, ha you in the end he was very petty and i, and I agree i agree he see it's possible he seems he doesn't think he's gonna live past day of unity he's, i don't think so he just he wants to hold out that tiny bit longer oh, yeah. he just, just wants to see happen. it through yeah he just wants to see it through and then he doesn't care wow so That'd now be, what, a big, what a big finale is gonna be attack on titan season four five i don't, I don't know do what they, that do means they, do they bring magic back um sure they're magic in that show sure <laughs> they got enough going on i don't there's, think i know there's i know there's titans i assume that was <laughs> That's all you have to know. You don't have to know anything else. I'm getting, I'm getting the magician vibes by magic going away, bringing back magic as a TV show. Um, but uh, okay, I love this. We did it. We cracked it. It's, it's good. It's really good. Okay. Um, now we have to I, talk I think, about the collector, though, because yeah. Well, okay, we can finish this off by we we mostly talked about the collector, but um, the collector said the, it's everything's very vague with the collector. Uh, oh, the collector I says, mean. I'm trapped beneath these bones seems to be the most uh, concrete thing we learn about them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that, but then we, we, the collector says betrayed, but God alone deceived. We'll have our revenge. So in, in the past, the collector seems to be betrayed by someone who trapped them in the, the bones. Maybe we don't know anything beyond that. Um, Do we but, think maybe it was the brother who betrayed both of them? I mean, maybe I'd assume be- betrayed, Beguiled was for the collector and alone deceived was, was for, for Philip. Yeah. 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 Or they're relating both of them. Maybe I, it, could, it could be that yeah. the collector's like ancient and that this just goes back before the current life uh, when oh, the Titan was alive. Yeah. yeah. The collector yeah. predates everything except the Titan, probably. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I like the idea that the Titan trapped the Collector. Yeah, I think maybe he that maybe that's it. why the Titan died. Like the Collector was such a threat, the Titan had to sacrifice Ooh. themselves ju- to trap the the Collector there. And now the Collector Ooh. wants to get rid of the remains of the that Titan would be in order very to be free. Cool. How did it? I, and then there's that whole flashback dream sequence with Ida where we saw it capture her in her owl beast form. Where does that come into anything? Why? How? Who? I guess the, the Collector was maybe working for Bellos in that wonder. way. Yeah, He's so much connections. Yeah, so Be- Bella seems to be tie- t- in cahoots with the collector. I assume this is like a, a like we like we've been describing like a relationship of opportunity of them to try and achieve their aims. I'm I'm a little worried about the collector because of the shortened season three. Um, just like this is an element in the show that we don't know a lot about, and there's not a lot of time left. So mm-hmm. there could be not a lot. Their their goal could be very straightforward. I mean, they're called the collector. We we haven't even unpacked what the heck that's supposed to yeah, mean. Yeah, and right? also we have an, uh, about Ida and the owl beast and stuff. So that's another. Mm-hmm. That's the first time we learned about them. So that's a whole thing. Um, anyway, the other, only other major thing, I mean, we should mention the Edith thing, but I have no theories. Uh, the only, the only other major <laughs> thing is people, people, Dana drew the collector on the charity stream before the yes, season, yes, and the yes, collector yes, looks yes, very yes. different from the current form. It looks so a like lo- Luz. A lot of people are speculating that the collector will, uh, possess Luz because the drawing looks somewhat like Luz. I still think it could okay. shapeshift instead of possess. I don't know, because... If it could possess, I feel like it would have done that when it tried to capture Ida, and it just instead just captured it were her with its whole body and didn't like try to take her over or anything to like bring her to Bellows. But I maybe think he the just collector won't do was that. kind of just observing her. I don't think it had any like immediate plans for her. Was maybe the collector trapped in the Ida flashback? Because we I don't were... think they were trapped. They were just no, kind of like it's hanging Ida. out. They were not so, hanging out. They so do, doesn't Ida doesn't the Ida thing. stuff kind of break our collector theory that they've been trapped for millennia? Like that's it, where I'm confused. Well, well, well maybe the they're trapped they in the mirror, but they can exist in like out. dreams or something. Oh, yeah, like they, they can man- they can manifest themselves yeah. somehow. Or Philip um, maybe let them out somehow. Because he did get a hold of that mirror in the the flashback. Or like temporarily let them out or something. I don't know. Um, Yeah. Interesting. But we've we've seen the collector trapped recently in Holoma. In uh, in Eclipse Lake. I feel like the the, the fact that just looking at the draining spell paper again, like the fact that it has to be during an eclipse makes perfect sense just because like the collector's oh, yeah, face looks like a half moon, right? So Duh. it's got to like release Aesthet- it or Aesthetically something. makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah it definitely involves the collector. Um, 
Anyway, my, yeah, we'll see about the, the I have not, no, not really any thoughts on the possession lose thing. Other than that, there's no point of doing po- lose possessed unless the possessed lose flirts with Amity. For, no, uh, that's Amity would so hate worse. that. For, the, for all the drama. Like, that's the <laughs> only reason, I for the drama. I are saying this. That's something I would say. Like, Look, I love if it's drama. for the shipping drama, we'll do it. That, I'll, that's I'll, like, okay, honestly, okay. some Darcy energy to have, like, an evil lose being like, hey, Amity was I, I know, very, it's, it's like Catradora uh-huh. vibes. It's like, also honestly. like, that's it. This is especially I appreciate that from you. <laughs> Look, I'm in. Uh, let, let, let's just get more lumen. Let's pack as much lumen as we can. These last eight episodes. By yeah, way, so we need that kiss left. before season three, at least. Okay, well, let's. Uh, should we move on to Lumity? I think we cracked the show, so I think <laughs> so we can much. move on. Yeah, I think we so solved it. It's a very around. 180, but yes. Let, let us know if you think we solved it. I think we solved it. Here. I think destroying the Titan Bones and all the people makes complete sense for Bellos being that petty. I 100% do. I think, I think if we, we didn't solve it, we're at least very, very close. Yeah, I agree. I just, I think it makes sense with why he keeps trying to bring him back, too. He's trying to make a new world for him. Like, I don't he, know. Either make a new world or just, like, prove his point. Like, the real brother wouldn't listen, and now he's going to listen because he's Yeah, gonna don't you see point. now? He, aren't yeah, you he better was, off now in this he, world without magic? And, and Hunter 25 is going to be like, what? What That's are you talking so about, bro? <laughs> what is anything? If he's dying, how does he continue to keep his work going? Maybe he's like, oh, 18 I, will definitely be the I one. Think, you know? I think he's just like, I think he just thinks, like, I'm going to prove my point, and then I can die happy that I was right. I, it could be that. Can die right. <laughs> it could just be that. Okay. Okay, let's talk Lumity. Uh, so, oh, so we haven't seen Lumity in two episodes now. Um, <laughs> but that being said, we, we got Lumity three out of four, I think, the first Yeah, we season, did. So that was really exciting. Um, they've been very, very much front and center, even when they've been the B-plot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, okay, I can say about I, I alluded to the beginning. I I just I love how the show's built up the lore, like episode to episode, three four episodes. I think it's been used like intentional juxtaposition really well. It's built that the Grimwalker stuff has been built up really amazingly. Um, I I, I love this the re, this growing rebellion. Oh, we didn't talk about the rebellion. We have to talk about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I forgot. Okay, no, no, well, let's, the okay. rebellion of like three We're going into it. Yeah, so the, so I love how they've built up this rebellion. And and the point I was going to make is I think Owl House is like two amazing strengths right now, which is mm-hmm. how it's built up its lore. And Lumity, I think, is the other amazing strength of the show. Like these, and these are two of the best. in general, honestly. Yeah, I mean, also yeah. like the characters. But especially but, like, uh Specifically, you know, like I think like how, how – and honestly, I didn't really care that much about the lore in season one. There wasn't a lot of it. It's This season has gone so hard into, into everything here. Uh, I think it's been so good. Two really strong aspects for the show, and there's other ones too. But anyway, this 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 rebellion. So we get the impression that da- uh, it's basically confirmed with the shadows. Rain is working with Darius, and that is Eberwolf in the Hollow Mine. Those are the shadowy figures. Eberwolf was the one in Eda's Requiem. Um, so uh, Rain has been. We learn in Them's the Breaks. Rain has been fr- faking brainwashing from Terra's tea using the yes. technique of altering the chemistry of the liquid that we saw earlier in the episode. I loved that moment. Yeah, that was good. such a huge reveal. Oh, that was done so well. I love that. We also in uh, in uh, the episode "Reaching Out," which you somehow talked the least about. Uh, Ward and Wrath alludes to some of us not agreeing. Yeah, with the they don't plan. think that like Earth's going to be friendly to magic dwellers or something like that. Ward and Wrath could be in this rebellion. I, I posit that. Um, was that that was hinted at? Right? I forgot how. He he said he says some of us don't agree. Oh, but episode, we're just you know? we're just thinking the warden is around. You know, he he's at it. least he shares the sentiments of the rebellion, if not mm-hmm. as specifically in. Also, in the previous episode in Any Sport in a Storm, Darius was very nice oh, he to said Hunter that. Sorry. and the yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. True, true. Um, yeah. So so Dar- so Darius presented uh, as not ultimately caring as much about like Bellos's objectives, I guess, and or the the as much as just like being nice to kids so that built up well with darius um here's the big question what wtf darius is good does this make any sense that's my question i mean i think i think it does especially for darius because he was really close to the last hunter and i think that really I like messed that. I him like up that addition. it and that way really it messed sense. him up when he was gone and i think he might have been maybe around long enough to see two hunters at that point before our current hunter came along and i think that just really got to him the way it probably would most people who have feelings you know I agree. just like to total disregard for life but also like bringing someone into existence for such a specifically gross reason 
I think that was alone enough to turn him against Bellows, just seeing that over the yes. course of years. What yeah, I like, I like that background. What doesn't sure. make sense to me is in Ida's Requiem, yes, he yes. captures Rain. This like, is what doesn't make sense. I don't think Why? He, I don't think he thought Rain was like on their side. Or maybe at they that point. captured so he, them Okay, here's the two questions. Like, yeah, here's, the, here's the two questions. What, were they faking it in the third act of Eda's Requiem? Oh, yeah. And that's this, what was I'm all, this was all an act oh made in order to God. in order to lead Ida astray because at the end of them's the breaks kid, uh, Rain refers to I don't want to get you know I don't want Ida to be hurt. Um, right. So was this all mm-hmm. intentional at the end of the episode in order to get Ida away from the rebellion? Oh, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but, but what about all the 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 followers that were the bat masks? Like, aren't they still in jail? Like, I don't think. Yeah. So great. Right. So that's part that, that doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that's part yeah. that doesn't make sense. Um, I, I I was up. I was uh, awake last night thinking about this. Does this <laughs> does lot. this make does yeah. this does this was this all conspiracy? Edith's Requiem is already the most like overstuffed episode of the season. Was it also like all fake? I don't. I act yeah, ultimately. I, I think, I think it, it doesn't make sense. Fake. I don't know I, if it was fake to lead Ida away from the rebellion per se, but like kind of to bring Rain into the secret, like like because theoretically rain was like being a rebel already but not actually part of the rebellion so maybe they were bringing them so in that, like that, that's yeah the- they like they're like oh we'll go get them don't worry yeah, exactly we'll anyone else to help us so yeah. that they can turn them over to okay, like hey, so you're yeah. also helping yeah so that part makes more sense team. darius and Eberwolf yeah. were in the real rebellion rain and the bats was this offshoot and they brought yes. rain in it's after capturing them yeah mm-hmm. okay that so the way i was thinking about it was darius and rain were already in cahoots before that episode which i think ultimately doesn't work because the thing is rain is turned over i i think that's a flaw with the other version too rain like is exposed after this the, presumably bellos knows rain has rebellious sentiments and is yes. hope of being brainwashed is it is it worth it to give rain up in any in any iteration of the rebellion just uh to either protect Ida or to add like more of the bats like uh, that that doesn't seem like that that checks out to me so the other option is just that Darius has been converted since the events of Ida's Requiem mm. that's like the the basic form is like Darius was like exasperated like pissed off at the old mentor but he was going a lot through the motions and then eventually rain and maybe some other people brought Darius into the fold and they joined forces and this all happened since that episode not there was a secret before that that we didn't know. That's also possible. I feel like there it's was. True. I feel like Darius has been planning this for a bit, maybe a couple of years. I think ever since the last Golden Guard died, I think he is he's kind of like made up his mind and talked to the cat person. I forgot their name. Everwolf. Uh, yeah, Everwolf. I love their design. And I think like finding out about Rain was like, oh, okay, well we can combine forces and be much more productive if we're all doing exactly the same thing instead of some of us going off and doing like random <laughs> stuff that's more likely to get caught. And yeah, I, it's, it's, it's more satisfying if Darius like has been building, like it's like, been I, part of this I feel for like a while. Now that, like just because we have that piece of the puzzle about him, like feeling really connected to the old guard and knowing what happened to them. I feel like he's had that chip on his shoulder for a bit and he's just been kind of like, you know, looking at the other potential um, coven heads and being like, how many of these people would agree how many can i convince to do this before the day of unity comes and so far he only had like one other person so now he has twice as many which is great uh yeah i i I think it i think it's more satisfying and it just it just doesn't make sense that uh rain would be turned over there's also a moment in Ida's Requiem if it's all an act for Ida there's a moment when rain like sees the picture um and uh of Ida's family and it's like no we can't sacrifice ourselves you have a family so th- th- that that can't be acting probably it no be I don't either. think I think so, they they wanted to protect her after they got captured the first time by plant lady I think ultimately this just won't make 100% sense. Is my, is my <laughs> I think that this was just Maybe a not, little yeah. sloppy, uh, but that's okay. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm on board. I, I like the idea that Darius was uh, building. I, like, I hope they tell us why they thought it was worth it to give rain up. Maybe it's like, oh, we'll give you up, but it's fake. But we'll, like, well, actually, that's you won't it, be though. Yeah, they, they, they gave them up because they knew it wouldn't be permanent, that they could talk to them. Because, like, they, they, think about it. They know it, they like, can undo if, the brainwashing. If rain now. doesn't get their, their lying juice every Friday, freaking day they're gonna start to remember stuff like that's not a very good system yeah 
if they needed so they, they, they knew it they knew it specifically be bad it still seems like bad to me to expose rebellious sentiments upon uh, in a coven head that's like a big deal but, uh, but maybe like, again, maybe they maybe the bellos already them. like so bells isn't gonna so think these Darius guys stays are more hidden if yeah they're turning okay. this person in, right like it strengthens their cause to look like they're on the up and up it, it keeps darius even more hidden okay exactly. um yeah cool. yeah maybe and maybe bellos already it's also possible bellos already knew there was a rebellion so they said okay you know we'll give one? rain yeah. up exactly like Bellos, so that makes it makes more sense if Bellos up. already knew. Yeah, yeah to play ca- play Kate Bellos. Okay, I think that's like the I think that makes the most sense. It's it's I I, I kind of doubt they'll explain all of this, but we'll see. It's a lot, uh, <laughs> but I lo- I just love how they built up like the eventual reveal that Darius is on our side. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's worth it because that was so fun these past episodes. Um, and I love that too because he's such a great design. It seems and he, him and Hunter were great. And yeah, I hope he's involved with Hunter. Anyway, so the then result is there's we been we, we're talking we're speaking before the season. When's the rebellion coming? Okay, it's here finally. It's, right? already, it's been in the works like little. It might have been here know. all along. We thought yeah. either or a little bit gonna start it, but no, no, no. It's from inside the coven's themselves. All right, and and I appreciate and that so much more. It's so good. We never would have seen it coming. And it's it seems like the reason we don't know about it is because Rain has purposefully been uh, they're pushing Ida away. From from the rebellion mm-hmm. that's why and that's a good explanation mm-hmm. as to like why it's not part of the show rain is just protecting ida otherwise mm-hmm. we would have maybe we learned about it. it's just not it doesn't involve the main character which brings us to the last thing which was uh in them's the breaks kid uh darius seems to uh in the letter seems to tell rain that ida could help counter the draining spell yeah I'm yeah wondering. i wonder how i would assume that wild witches uh could be are, are needed to counter this just because uh, they can do anything they can do anything Multiple they don't have the sigils magic, they, right? they, they, like, but they have... with her curse how is that gonna help because she can only really be the owl beast from now on maybe harpy eat is needed for yeah, this, she, she, uh, can how... con- she can control harpy eat so she's not in as bad a spot yeah, but that's not season. like she i mean she can she can still use loses glyphs i guess but not to say harpy eat isn't strong but it's not the same as her using magic I think I don't know. M- maybe it could even be like, you know, when push comes to shove, they she doesn't have she like she's not going to get drained because she doesn't have a tattoo. Right. Yeah. A sigil. So maybe even that alone is enough to give her That's a chance. True, yeah. Just yeah. someone Something. who's not drained. Because yeah. all the COVID heads are kind of screed. They're so going to die. We have the, the we have goes wrong. Ida, Luz, Lilith, and then theoretically all of the kids in Hexide who are kids? not like 16. Yeah. Oh, but the kids, kids are going to be kids part of it. Yeah. But, but, but will they be part of the rebellion or will they be somehow indoctrinated against their will to be getting coven sigils? Maybe before the date. Yeah, Hunter, if they, like, Willow, it, Gus, you know, the wild. cool people. Um, yeah, the, the cool people. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I, I definitely foresee like a, a point, and probably in this finale where everyone with so. everyone with sigils is incapacitated, and so only the wild witches and the yeah. kids, and like they all team up. And I would love to, to see the all day. the kids involved in this cool. It's just so the clawthorns, the kids, and yeah, that makes sense. Because I mean, there still are like Ada's tailor in, uh, in this last episode. <laughs> yeah, was, like, uh, so there are like people. It's still like a work in progress. The whole getting everyone, like even after fifty years, it's yeah, not a yeah. seamless transition. Yeah. They, they, they in this episode they treat 50 years like a lot we've talked about it as a little before yeah it's this, not know, that establishing long. like an authoritarian role you know like uh so uh, we haven't had to, we haven't gotten everyone tattooed yet at least um yeah that's interesting yeah i, I bet i bet that's and, and there's going to be a moment when Ida like is like able to help out through the lack of magic because that's highlighted too in in, the, in this episode. like yeah i don't have magic what can i do um, i wonder so. now mm-hmm. if people who got coven sigil tattoos are regretting their decisions <laughs> Well, when they die, I think. I mean, yeah, not like real people in real life. Oh, Oh, in real life, yeah, real people have gotten it, and then it's like (laughs) they're like, um, oops. Are they going to be drained too through the TV? Is that what's going to (laughs) happen? I assume, like, because it's such a big part of the show that like you shouldn't be locked into like one kind of path. I wouldn't be surprised if like maybe Luz found a way to get rid of the sigils entirely by the end of the show. Yeah, so that people can choose like a little more flexibility to decide what they want to do with their lives. I could see that. Amity, please don't join a coven. Well, if it's if it's our theory and magic is like go, uh, gone, like mm. does that mean everyone with sigils is gonna get Thanos snapped and lose us to bring them all back in the next <laughs> season? Like, what's gonna does lose mm. prevent the people from dying, but magic still goes away? Like, is that possible? Oh man, I mean that is possible if you are they dead the or are they like in comas that... forever? Yeah, maybe they're all like they're all like Raya petrified or something, you know? Yeah. Like, and then mm. she can. Oh man, okay, okay. <laughs> There we go. We we okay. We talked about that. Uh, back to Lumity. Okay. Back to- <laughs> They're great. Uh, Twelve. Initi- fourteen out of ten. I know. Or twenty the, out of ten. Uh, we're past that. 
you know, but uh, that's okay. Uh, in on in honor, we'll talk about Lumini, I guess. Uh, so, uh, I mean, there's there's not a lot of like huge things, right? We get uh, we didn't get the kiss. We're like, will you, they kiss and reaching out? No. Uh, the big emotional moment, Luz opens up to Amity about her dad who yeah. who died. We I, a big, big kind of shock, like yeah. To, and in a lot of ways, it's better than friends. a kiss because they're just opening up to each other more. Yeah, I mean, it occurred to me that, like, I think the reason it was so hard for Luz to just tell her girlfriend who loves her is just because, like, she hasn't had a lot of friends. And yeah. I think she, I think in her heart of heart, Luz is still really scared that she's going to be, like, too much for her first girlfriend and her first girlfriend's going to mm. push her away. So I think that's why she kept, like, a bent against her better judgment, like, trying to act like everything was fine because, like, she just didn't know how Amity was going to take it. But now that we know that Amity took it really, really well and did a sweet thing with her, hopefully she's going to be able to be more upfront about other stuff in the future, which is great. Love to see it. It is Healthy really great. relationship stuff. We need more of this in TV in general, like not just animation, but TV. Good I, slow burns. So is Lumity a slow burn? They're such a slow burn. Are you well, kidding? Because they, they haven't kissed yet. They're dating. Yeah, but they're like, okay, it's a slow you burn. You they have a kiss. They will kiss each other's cheeks. Those are kisses. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they, they haven't done a uh, lips kiss. Yes. Yeah, but they have kiss. This they've, is like they've, how they've actual relationships work. Like an actual slow burn. Because a lot of the time it's like people are like just into each other and they kiss before they date or like talk about their feelings and it's yeah. and i think the thing is they're they're like 14 you know i think that's yeah. the key here that's um, fine also 14 yeah, year olds but, kiss in tv uh yeah it's like a real more realistic for some very people. i very, think like know. presumably if it's both of their first relationship especially yeah. I, yeah. they would want to take it slow because everything's so brand new to them mm-hmm yeah. Anyway, lo- definitely love the stuff at, at the end of reaching out uh, together. Great emotional uh, Lumity stuff. In addition, there are a lot of small uh, romantic moments. Uh, my favorite was Luz's reaction to Amity's new outfit. And that the episode. blushing, yeah. And, and then like when, her. when Luz is um, d- her turn to fight, like Amity's also blushing watching Luz. <laughs> it's like it's very mutual attraction we got right here. <laughs> I really liked Amity telling her dad that she's dating Luz and he just goes, oh, Edith's kid? Yay! Yeah. You gotta yeah, write more good. worlds where homophobia doesn't exist. It's just oh that yeah, that that probably person. confirms it that there's that we're absolutely. And I mean, Willow has play. dads. It, Basha might have moms. Maybe mm-hmm. um, it's totally canon, and I appreciate yeah, that subtlety. I think so. um, also, the Grom tree. The Grom tree comes it back, which so is so emotional. Which is very funny that that still exists. But um, <laughs> why is made, it they just it's they, 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 they made a tree? I gone. guess it's there now. It's I guess. <laughs> They're gonna uh, have their first kiss under that tree, maybe. Gonna have their. That's why we all thought it was happening, right? It's like, oh, the Grom tree, yeah, pretty much. It's happening now, you know. Like, but no, uh, just just tears for now. But they went a different direction. It was kind of great, and it was definitely great in its own way, you know. It was fantastic. Um, it was like blowing kisses at Amity on the stage. Uh, uh, we got witch boo, which uh, Michelle called last podcast, by the way. <laughs> which um, what? Boo. Yeah. Wait, Michelle what? Lingo. I'm sorry. Michelle Lingo, boo. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me about this. You're like romantic partner, as yeah, a oh, yeah. it's yeah. like witch honey, but cuter. You're witch boo. Yeah, because uh, I got you, boo. Yeah, boo. there you go. Uh, and also in, in the B plot of any sport in a storm, they're finding the author of the Azura books. Um, I love what huge nerds they are. That entire time, they're just yeah, like so just... devoted to finding this author. Amity is the biggest nerd on the boiling boiling aisles because she's, she's the yeah. only one who reads Who's the book. Like that, that is so like nerd. Sad nerd she this this probably has to so if it's canon that the author of the books is human she has to be the new president of the human club and gus has to be demoted to vice president (laughs) (laughs) yeah well i was in gus on these books yeah she's the biggest nerd i guess they didn't know it was a human author yeah that's Um, right for sure yeah uh, I wanted to call out the uh, they're specu they're giving like fake conspiracy theories when they're trying to, when they're running to find the author and uh, when I'm, what if the author is Ida? I love um, that. It's talking which, directly to the fandom. At that right. Point. I thought that was this great. was a re- yeah. this was a reference to maybe the first theory that was ever brought up on this podcast, uh, which is that uh, from the Little Witch Academia theory of like uh, Ida, the mentor, being. Uh, the 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 hero the 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 I think Sarah brought this up early on. We were we were thinking about this. So, oh, like if she was um, chariot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if if Ida was like the the the, the witch that Luz uh, worshipped. Yeah, but, uh, it's it's oh, different because it's like a book. But yeah, it's it's. Uh, uh, so I I love I love the, that type of call out. But yeah, that turns and I also think this was like more. Um, 
desire from the show to reconcile all the like season one quite quote unquote plot holes like, i think uh, that's very fine that they want to do that honestly i, I love it but, yeah that's uh, great what, if you want to like predict i think this is like they have an interest in resolving all this stuff <laughs> so like, that's, that's like the portal prediction. door stuff mm-hmm. but um where does he find the time when he's all corrupted and making his 25th brother i'm just maybe saying. it was like maybe he started off before they came to the boiling isles in the human realm he just started writing like his own fiction and he's like been perfecting it over 500 years i think it's yeah, just a sure. just a he's human the in the modern times he who wrote is the it only and... one we see walking around with a book all the time that's true maybe he was writing he has had the time time. he has a that book he's the only time, nerd that, that exists. Um, yes, the author is, is human, and and they, the anime is only what's about it. Okay, so it's like a fun a fun resolution to this. Like they both know about the books from from season one, so I thought that was good. Um, and we we get like Azura Book Club kind of mentioned as well. We finally got to get this brought back. Well, they, and then they say, "What if the Azura Book Club is a writing club?" And we were yeah, so that'd be I like fun that more. That. It's a fan fiction club. Yeah, it's more like hands on. It's just like Kelsey and Stacks is right the club, right? It's the oh, cutest yeah. thing. It's a gay oh, yeah. thing, I guess, right? Thing. Right, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. All the is. lesbians and bi girls, they're doing book clubs now. I mean, fanfics are largely fanfics, gay yeah. on the internet. Um, that is also true. Is gay, <laughs> yeah, the overlap is insane. All the Lumity fix of them writing uh, Azura fic together is going to be canon. Yeah. There's so many of those. Love are they going to write okay. AUs and. Um, crossovers i guess yes let's do it uh ali what was your what are your favorite parts of all of the these two episodes lumity that we saw definitely it definitely has to be when um luz talks about her dad because i'm also just i'm gonna put it out there very happy that bellos is not her father i did not like that theory i (laughs) never liked that i can't believe that was a theory i i'm rejecting that or the fact that like they were just related period because they're both human it's like that is the worst Ah. it's very lazy i'm sorry i'm happy it's not real and also, I didn't know that Dana lost her father at a very young age, too. And that just yeah. makes this very depressing, but in a really good way. I really appreciate when people take from their own experiences and put it into the art they put out. Because it, it, it's real life and it needs to be seen. And it's just relatable, even if you can't relate to it personally on that level. Um, I also like all the really cute Lumity stuff. But we have to talk about, I mean, we don't have to talk about it, but the, um, the twins... Ed and M. Oh my god, I didn't realize souls. they've been like faking their appearances the whole time. I it's love so that. Funny. Faking their appearances. It's so yeah. funny. They're putting on the glyphs, the um, the illusion. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they have a concealment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the brother is so much better when he's Ed a is the best. Nerd. He is the best. best. He I, likes I don't he think they're, I think this is just the equivalent of putting on makeup and getting ready in the morning. It's you know, I don't think, uh, I don't think they're faking it, you know? This no, is it's like not a, fake, but it's, they're, they're doing it for, you know, not necessarily for themselves. But it's I mean, not their authentic both. self. You it can could call be both. it magic if, makeup. If, if, they, if they like how they look when they're putting on yeah. the thing, then that's valid. Um, I just love yeah. them yeah, both. Okay, and I like that Ed, like, we got more of him being, like, <laughs> competent because Ed makes fun of him all the time. I appreciate that he likes beast magic and, like... Yeah, yeah we got more, a big, big really Edric cute. episode. He's yeah. the best. And also, I'm, I'm being cute with, like, the give me the shirt. I want to be part of the bad girl coven. That was pretty good. Uh, and at, at the end, Ida, say, uh, Ida says uh, Edric might have a future in wild magic. Yeah. So and I hope he does. But do they have, I don't remember if they had tattoos. I hope they don't. They could be bored. Hunter does. Maybe, maybe they're not quite old enough. I just I'm realized sure. Hunter has Hun- a sigil. Hunter has a sigil? Yeah, I think so. What's his, what's his coven? The Emperor's coven. Oh, right. They have yeah, their does own. that count? I guess that mm-hmm. counts. It has even to. But I don't know so. if that means they also get drained. I, I, it must. Mm, if if it's one of the the nine, they absolutely get drained. Uh, I guess it's not one of the nine. They might get special drained in a special <laughs> way, or they get, or maybe they're like the pre-selected. Like you are the you are the chosen die. ones who will get drained but yeah. not die. Yeah, yeah. You, you're the you're the fifteen people left on. That's this why the Titan has big plans. plans. You'll, you'll be here to repopulate after all. Yeah. Of that. Oh, oh Jesus! Now that you've been like, purified, by those are the plans the Titan has for you. I could see that actually. They're the they're the chosen ones who get to live. Honestly, the Emperor's Coven. That, they prove their loyalty to they, him. They re- yeah, yeah, they really uh-huh. should explain them. This is really coven, giving a lot of weird, religious but... trauma right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's been intended the entire time. Though, oh, absolutely. Right? No, I, I really do think he's like a missionary. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, the... 100% yeah. missionary yeah. energy. <laughs> that oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so good, <laughs> Michelle. It's any terrible. other Lumity thoughts before? We... Oh, Lucy, I was just gonna say, like, uh, a moment I loved um, was when a, a hunter like talked to Flapjack on the walkie-talkie. He's like, "Are you okay?" 
to be nice to you. I love you. And then everyone was like, aw, on yeah. the other end of the line. It's just so cute. I love you is really cute, yeah. How dare we get a Hunter Flapjack I love you before Illumity I love you? Am I right? The people? world's a crazy place. That's how Dylan. I mean, you say I love you to your cat. <laughs> we'll surprise you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that is definitely. true. Yeah. I'm going to go tell my cat I love him after this. Yes, always. Uh, what's the, what's any Illumity quick speculation? We don't even know when we're going to see Amity again. She's not in any of the descriptions. Yeah. I, um, I mean, I, I haven't even read these descriptions. But she hasn't, before. has she been in every description that she's like been in an episode in so far? Uh, no, no, it, yeah. It could, it's, it's a good point. Any, any sport in the storm stuff. was a surprise. Yeah, yeah. So it could be a B plot. Yeah. I, I think, I assume she'll be in one of these B plots and then she'll be part she of it. She definitely has to be in the, it's like a two part finale, right? Or maybe depends, depends how you read the potentially three parts depends how you read she the has to come up somewhere yeah. in there i mean i still i still think they're gonna have a kiss before season three maybe yeah, it would be if it's been, season finales are good times for that you know yeah um, i'm i'm heartened in terms of amity being part of the finale action because she oh, 100%, was 100 uh, percent. she will yeah especially i mean you know but in season one you know she she was sidelined right. but i think we moved past that i think she's yeah, part I hope of the so. because they've been I mean, doing so. battles together and they're like yeah. seamlessly working because of folly specifically yes yeah, re- specifically yeah. that episode yeah. yes mm-hmm. yeah so i'm re- I'm really hopeful i'm like that. really hung up on this third episode description about like king facing his true identity i know <laughs> like That's what, the Prince of the, Titans, king's king's dad playing? is another i think the titan thing because if if oh our theory God. is true and the titan is pivotal in the finale getting rid of the titan king being descended from a titan maybe that'd be Ooh. like especially traumatic they, for him. what if his dad is the titan right like and it's like oh we're okay we don't know like the titan could be neutral though because like if bill also said so much stuff about the Titan, but that's just him pretending to he created a religion and he says whatever he wants so he talks to god but like if king has titan's blood that's a game changer, right? Yeah, Titan's yeah. blood is important. Yeah. We're gonna meet, we're next episode. We're gonna meet his people, and it is possible they're descended from the Titan. That is mm-hmm. a theory. Um, so hmm. that, it's like it's like dinosaurs, and now they're just tiny birds. Like kings, like yeah, the evolution. <laughs> they're, they're, of they're the small titans. titans yeah. <laughs> there are small titans now um we talked about hunt low extensively Ida, any anything from the Ida and rain flashbacks that, it, was, it was just cute it's just so cute it was very cute i will say like i really i think we talked about this last time but like i just love that they're like a like the 35 year old adults are the ones having all these relationship angsty <laughs> crises like i love it give me more of like adults trying to figure out love uh, it's I like introducing Ida Rain as this main uh, drama yeah, shit as a way to counteract drama. as a way to counteract keeping Lumity drama free. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like the kids have got to figure it out, and the adults are a hot mess. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. I, I do like this approach. Um, so many ships now. All of a sudden, I know. Yeah. We gotta now get. We, just need a, we gotta get that boy for for Gus, the the mean boy Max. What's his name? Matthew. Yeah, we need yeah. to bring he, he him back. He was one of the authors, but he yeah. really didn't interact with Gus. Yeah. It's um, gonna happen. We're gonna. Have he might be back in the Gus thing. episode. Yeah, Gus is coming up here. So, Gus teams up with an unlikely ally. Metholomew would. Be oh yeah, likely. maybe that's, he'd oh, be I likely. Mean, that's their 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 episode to become. You know, I guess unlikely in terms of the show, but we all know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already got it. We're already a hundred percent right. We figured we it out. Know. Um, oh, the other last thing uh, I I never mentioned this, but um, I think the brother's name is Caleb. Um, <laughs> I like that theory going around. Because in Any Sport in a Storm, Hunter goes by Caleb as an alias after Flapjack whispers, tweets at, tweets at him a little bit. Oh. Tweet, tweet. Um, mm. So presumably Flapjack would know Because he uh, was the with the OG name. brother. Yeah. I mean, do so, you think Belos would have commented on that? Wouldn't that super trigger him to see like his brother's talisman on his fake 17th? Try brother. Yeah, did he see like, him? And did he see him? In that Maybe episode? he's been hiding it though. Actually, yeah, I think I think he has been hiding it. Yeah, Darius was like, "Are you going to tell knows. him about your palisman?" And he was like, "Oh, oh yeah." And he right. wasn't there in Hollow Mind either. Know. Yeah, okay. he wasn't there. Um, yeah, interesting. Please don't yeah. let Flapjack die. Protect Flapjack. He still got yeah. one eye. He's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fighter one left one left <laughs> on. michelle what else from these episodes oh god i'm like really upset about the genocide i like really didn't think that was happening and now it's all i can think about <laughs> about genocide <laughs> um, about just like how how crazy like how how much is going on here with this story at this point like we don't know for sure, but it, it it makes a lot of plausible sense, and that kind of scares me. It's it's gonna be really interesting. Like I don't even know. I mean, 
Zay, you're just coming and some other stuff will happen. I hope some more like fraught romantic stuff happens with like any one of our like four pairings of people at this point. I would love to see more from any of them. I kind of want to see more Huntlow, to be honest, just because I love Willow and I want more Willow. I feel like it's happening next week in the B-plot and something. It has to. I hope so. I have to look at the episode descriptions again. Yeah. I don't think we'd put Huntlow in the description, but uh, it's possible. No, no, no. But just... I'm, I'm a little upset we don't have a Hootie episode yet. King's getting multiple episodes. He had his own Where... door episode earlier on in the that season. That doesn't count. We he had him. knock, knock, it was knock his on door. door. Okay, he we need the... another one, though. Where he sets up Ida and Rain. We have eight. Oh. So we have, oh. <laughs> oh. And Originally? It's, happening. Uh, okay. it's totally happening. Oh, yeah. In, the, in their version of the, the They'll go tunnel. into the tunnel of love yeah, and it'll be amazing. that'd be funny. That's um, where Rain will propose. I just feel like Hootie's a secret weapon. I want to see him, like, show, we gotta show bring his secrets. We got to bring him Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Hootie fighting the Emperor? Yeah. Hootie would win. Happen. That's why we haven't he seen it yet. I keep saying. <laughs> Who would win? A, an ancient being with magical powers or a bird tube? Or bird tube bird is a tube. huge question mark. So he has that on his side. <laughs> Nobody no, knows surprise, what he can yeah. do or what he is. It's true. But except Rain does because they, they're they like, I know how to get past the bird. The tube? Yeah, Rain Him. Yeah. Yeah. Him. Rain doesn't know what Hootie is. They just know how to manipulate him. No one knows. <laughs> Um, Not even Ida. Allie, anything else from these episodes? Uh, Not that I can. We, we, I think we covered everything except for like the little bits. Um, I don't know. I, I'd like to see more of the Coven heads. Now we know that Tara is kind of a creepy man. We know Darius and Eberwolf are kind of okay. Obviously, we know Rain is good. I'm curious about people. the Illusion guy. Mm. Um, whatever the other ones are, potion, um, healing bricks or rock or fighting whatever it is i'm I curious i want to know bricks. who else is in the like yeah, I, th- I think we'll meet the other ones are I think all we'll the coven heads more. like are, is it half and half are in the rebellion and on the yeah, side no that, that's like, the key is how many others are part of it yeah yeah um other than that yeah i mean but i'm echoing what michelle said i want to see all the relationship stuff happen um i've really just been loving the build-up in general with just everything this this show is so good and we need more like it I say this every time I'm on an Owl House podcast, but I, I still feel the same. Uh, my only other thing is Principal Faust. I thought uh, was Aww, actually hilarious. I his thought he was oh, when, oh, when he yeah. was like an awkward. Pr- okay, my question is like, no, like, that's Vice Principal oh, Bump, but oh, the actual the, the guy, with, with the, no the absolute terrifying, the, the terror, guy. yeah, no lip man. I, I was like annoyed by him at first, but second watch, I was just cracking up at him. Well, Dylan, have you watched? Have you been like watching the post hoots because the voice actor on there was talking about? I think the the voice actor for Principal Faust and like one of the writers on the Owl House was like, we theorized that he and Tara dated back in the day. Oh my <laughs> so. God. That'd be a good couple. Okay, we'll ship that too. Um, and it was fun to see Bump as well. Um, yeah, the young eight, Bump was cute. He, he was like, I did not expect him to be so awkward. And <laughs> but like, it it kind of makes sense, like because he's that like makes more him a good principal. Yeah, he's more accepting to like, oh, you want to study all kinds of magic? Okay, like n- now it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's been nice recently. Oh, also, I'm sorry. While we're on the topic of that episode, we saw the younger versions of everybody's parents. Like we saw mm-hmm. Willow's dads. We saw Alidor and um, what's her name? <laughs> Mama Amity. Oh, Dahlia. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Dahlia. And uh, I think we saw Gus's dad too. Gus's it was dad, just great. Yeah. It was just so good seeing all yeah, those cool. dudes in their prime. All, those, all, <laughs> all the dudes. baby parents. Everyone peaked in high school. <laughs> uh. I feel like Ida would say she is peaked now. Like, yeah, yeah no, but she's, in prime, the she's, she's in prime. Like Everybody else peaked in high school because after that they had to get the sigils, and Ida never did that. I mean, oh, it's oh a okay, that's fair. I was gonna say Darius definitely <laughs> so was everyone hotter actually than an adult be. man, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, Darius now for sure. Oh yeah, yeah we saw him 100%. too. I forgot about that. Uh, he peaked now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Darius, yeah. I, 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 Darius, uh, breakout character of these recent. Oh episodes. yeah, I, yeah. He's, he's been so. Good. I was curious about him since Eda's Requiem, and now I just I, I appreciate the mystery behind the man. Great use of oh, here's a random character with an amazing design. Oh, we're actually gonna make them cool. Like <laughs> we're gonna said. give him like a pivotal yeah. plot thing. Yeah, he was front that's and what you center do. when they introduced the Coven Heads for the first time. So I was like, you gotta oh, be. Yeah, somebody. you can tell they're gonna do something. Yeah. Yeah. I am hoping okay. now that Hunter runs to talk to him first because he yeah. could give him so much context about all the I clones. could see him like texting Willow being like, where are you up? And then <laughs> yeah. she tries to help him reach out to other people. 
Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he, they, they could sideline Hunter for an episode here. Not right? my boy. They could. We'll see. They could. Um, they, maybe it'll be the B plot. Uh, eight episodes left of the Outhouse. Oh, oh man. Wait, eight? I thought we were saying before five. Well, there's five, five plus the specials. Points. No, <laughs> don't say that. Don't even bring up season three. I, I, oh, eight. Yeah, that's eight. That's total. Ever, <laughs> ever left until the uh, oh, the revival uh, in for ten years. How know. long are the the season three episodes? Forty five minutes. Yeah, d- three, double. Three forty four minutes. Okay. Hmm. So, so break that the, down. the equivalent yeah, of wise. eleven episodes left. Yeah. Oh that man, out. that's still not enough. <sighs> man. <sighs> Just know right. everyone who worked on the show, we love and appreciate now, you. And you've so done sorry. so much with what the time you had to tell this story. We're so sorry. It's amazing. Yeah. No, I mean, this has been so good. We're just It's been it for, so for good. Women, so. It's only going to get better, I feel like. Even with the specials. I feel like it's only going to get better. I know. So much potential with those specials. Very, very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let us know what you thought of our discussion. Well, mostly, I'm curious about our our new theory. Yes. Like, uh, <laughs> Which one? God. For the day of the, the, oh, the, oh, the yeah, the ultimate. Get yeah. rid of the Titan. Get rid of magic. You know. Kill everyone. <laughs> Be a petty man. Yeah, the killing it, everyone's kind of text. Condone yeah. first like degree that. murder. That's. That's the plot. Look, no law. If you go off of Earth, there's no laws anymore. Yeah, like well, that's what he's always thought, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it only counts if it's on Earth. It's not that's murder true. if you're it's not It's out of the on. jurisdiction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, t- uh, were we right on the theory? Uh, what else do you think of this episode? Is Lumity, what are your predictions? Um, yeah. I, I, look, we don't need too much more Lumity from the last five, but I would, you know, one more big kind Just of Just one kiss. We'd never there. say no to it if presented with it. The thing with the kiss is just like if they kiss and it's like you almost don't need anything else. Like you've already surpassed everything that we've ever seen from a like in show couple. I want way couple. more than a kiss. I want them to develop their relationship properly. A kiss doesn't know, mean but... any of that. I know, but I don't know if we have time, but it would be great. <laughs> well, we're going to so definitely, doing, there's going to be an epilogue. Season. They're doing well, the yeah, work. we're in the process, you yeah. know. It, At the end of that. the series and one of the specials, there will be an epilogue and they will be married. And oh, oh, yeah. I have a, oh look, God. I have a hot take. Okay, so I think normally they, Dana would never ever do like an epilogue wedding like i feel like that's not the show style well i don't um, think that's gonna go ahead though this is dana's first show how do you know like what well, she would never like, do it's just like a cheesy wedding like lumity a future i i feel like it's not i, I think it, the show is it stops being cheesy when you make it gay though i don't know? think lumity's gonna have <laughs> the wedding i think they're gonna show ida and rain having a wedding ida and then rain wedding and oh, then ida that'd rain be good would be anyway perfect, yeah that would be and then lumity really will just like be that. together like it'll be yeah. a flash that's forward the, that's the, the, the cora move is having flowers. some like hunter and willow's wedding in the ah! God, that's yes. the Cora move. Um, I want to see that. Uh, no, but I, I think like c- Disney cancels the show. Mm-hmm. They've reduced order. What if we do a big F you to Disney? Yeah. We have the gayest possible ending. Exactly. Right? Like that's, I think that's in play. Exactly. So. That is totally what's happening. I totally see that because, you know, they, that's the only way it's going to happen. Right. Like, I think, I think if anything, the shortened season only increases the chance of. Being, uh, agree. I agree. Yeah. What if one ending. of the three episodes for season three is just all the weddings for 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> What's the title? It has to be a song. Something and about a wedding. He, like gets to be like the ring bearer and he throws it up. No, that's the, the, the Hootie, Hootie uh, with a character we haven't met yet is the twist last wedding. The oh, Duolingo no. owl comes to the owl house and he marries <laughs> Hootie. There are no rules. <laughs> I think you you freaked out the most at the mention of a <laughs> oh, God. I miss him. This is the okay. only travesty with focusing on plot. We steer away from all the hootie shenanigans. Let's just let's get hootie in the rebellion, then we can have all of it. Wait, like destroy everyone. I would love it. Would if actually he I think the problem it. is hootie is a hootie's a big mouth would just tell everyone about the rebellion. You can't really like, entrust I'll him with the secret. You promise to be my pen pal, and then I won't fight you. I think you can trust him with a secret. Nobody knew about the tunnel of love before they went down. <laughs> I think that was created I think, on yeah, the spot. I think that you didn't have time to make it. <laughs> okay. Any final thoughts here? Um, be gay, do witchcraft. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, okay, always. I, yes. I support um, that. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's it. <laughs> yeah, we we talked. Okay, Hootie was our last thoughts. Uh, <laughs> uh, to mention the comments, support us via Patreon, patreoncom slash made Thanks to our current patrons, especially our patrons of the podcast, Michael, and thanks as always to our patrons, executive producers, Steve, Michael, and Finition. 
Uh, yep, five episodes left of the Alha season. We'll be back at some point. TBD, definitely after the finale at least. So um, that should be a very exciting end to the season. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.